It is interesting that there's such long loading screens. It, I mean, there is a lot to load, to be fair. And it's sunset, baby. Am I all on fire? I'm probably going to be only on fire. So can I? No. I can't get rid of these guys? I can. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. And it's taken us to the other side. Oh, great. Okay. Is there a way out from here? What do I need to press in the seconds that I've got? Fan, now on. Beautiful. Ah, oh, that's all we needed. I see Pikmin Sprout on the radar. Nope. I want the fan on again. I wanted the Honey Wisp, man. The Honey Wisp is gone. Uh, no, not idle. They're only Sprouts. Okay. Fine. We'll take it. This is a lovely room. Bit of an open plan, which is a bit ominous. I don't like open rooms entirely, but that's fine. <sighs> Can't wait till you hit Area 5. Oh, well, we'll see. I don't want to hear anything else about Area 5, so I, I, heard, I, heard, I think I read there is a creature. I've skipped the rest. I'm sure there is a creature in Area 5. But we'll see it when we see it. Oh, I lost five at sunset? Okay, sure. We can do that real quick. We can save those five. I don't know how I lost five, but sure. <laughs> Hi, that's me again. Just coming out of a cave, as you do. Um, again, don't want any. I can't get rid of those five that I guess are trapped somewhere. Okay, so hit that button. That's all sorted. Jump down here. Where even are they? It's not there. They're not there. Are they like just outside? No, they're in... Because there's two here, right? Two are sprouts. One is a sprout. Oh no, is it the one... Are there more trapped by Ochi? Uh, by Moss? And I lose them? No way. That's so cruel. Okay, everybody. Come on. That's not even everyone. Now it's everyone. We might just lose them. I think I can't save them. I've got my rush boots on. This is as fast as I can go. Come on. Please. I'm never going to reach up there. And I can't even reach up there. Like, I actually can't get that height up there. Nah. It's over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're gone. God, okay, there's an actual sunset hazard. That's so interesting. That they plug in a sunset hazard. For the first time, we will be losing Pikmin to sunset. And I cannot save them. They did their best. We don't even get to see them die. Interesting choice. I mean, I'm glad, I guess, that you're not making me suffer through it. Maybe. But, um, okay. Okay. There they go. We'll mourn them anyway as best we can. Sad times. Goodbye. Those final five. Ah. Oh. It's alright though. Maybe Moss will protect them. You never know. Day 28. A full four weeks here. <sighs> okay, we got a lot of treasures today. I, I feel like we did 2Ks, but I could be wrong on that. A lot of treasures, though. Let me tell you that much. So we have this... Not even started yet. So, we have the Point of Honor series, oh, the Shattering Lance, the Citrus Lump, the Zest Bomb, Seed Hive, Stellar Extrusion, Insect Condo, Crush Nugget, Puzzle Snack, Octoplus, Heroic Sword, the Deceptive Snack, Cushion Cake, Searing Acid Shock, Sure Footed Combo Bot, the Courage Emblem, the Mechanical Harp, Windmills, nice, I get it, I get it, Number Jumper, the SS Chocolate, SS Peppermint, 
the Fist Force Combo Bot, and the Buddy Display. Man, I really want to see them get, like, juiced inside of the, uh, the ship, but it's never gonna happen, is it? Typical. Have our numbers gone down? A handful in places, yeah. Yikes. 37 to 76% though. That's a good, that's a good session. That's 50% in a day almost. 49%? No, anyway. Dingo, how are you feeling? Back to your old self? Oh, uh, yeah, if it is a feather over here. <laughs> Why did I say that? So stupid. Glad to hear it. Then you must be ready to assist. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm not quite 100% yet. Help me out, rookie. Uh. Lovely. Oh, the dogs? Yeah, there's a lovely picture of dogs out there. I think that's really sweet. What's your opinion on the engulfed castle? Pretty good. Uh, the water wraith is easier this time though, but I'm glad that uh, newbies to Pikmin 4 will be experiencing it for the first time. That'll be really funny. Wow, you're incredible! You lead a hundred Pikmin now? Yeah, I do. I thought Dingo was a ranger? He is! He's just always never wanting to do anything. I think he's scared. You're one charismatic leader, Daz. Uh, are you gonna make me do another or is that the end of it? I don't think... I think that's the end of that. Ah, uh, it won't tell me anywhere. Oh well, it's fine. Or I don't want to go into all the menu stuff. What do you want? Ooh, this is exactly what I've been hoping for at last! Ah, leaflings. I forgot you were cared about the leaflings. Rescue 10 leaflings. I did that ages ago. Then we got, uh, oh, some Piclopedia stuff would be great. 100 creature species. Now find all creature species. Okay, we are coming to the end game, I think. Something like that. Or there's just loads still going on. I mean, I'm only 23 hours in. Only! <laughs> okay. Um, let's see this guy. The Frosty Bulborb. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the notes. I'm sorry. There we go. A creature that thrives in the coldest climates is ice-coated haunches shimmering like a living jewel in the frigid air. You can admire the way it sparkles to your heart's content, but don't get too close. You'll get frosty frozen on the spot if you touch it. Cool. Cool. We then have arm- oh, the horned. So that's the armored cannon beetle lava. Yes. This is the horned cannon beetle. So it's not even lava. Oh, it is lava. Yeah, these are lava. Okay. It's, shi it's giant shiny black carapace is one of the precious stones of the natural world. When it lifts its ebony wings, the briefly visible flesh beneath cre cre creates a striking color contrast. This is the living work of art that transcends the imagination. And then there's the Arctic cannon beetle. A beautiful armored bug that sparkles like a diamond. The sight of it busily tromping along, the way it sucks in air and spews out snowballs. Everything about it is remarkable. While standing transfixed by its stunning appearance, you'll end up covered in snow for sure. We read that one already, and I'm sorry I only realized it at the end. <laughs> Got mittites, scutter chucks, skeeter skates, the snow fake flutter tail. God, where do they come up with these names? It's not even a snowflake, it's a snow fake. Please don't call it a flying snowman. The sight of it flying around with its magnificent wings, scattering ice like diamonds, evokes thoughts of a snow sprite. Witness this beauty of nature, and let it soothe away all of your woes and anxiety. From the Snow Swallow family. The giant bread bug. Perfectly cooked, golden brown, and fluffy. It must be a freshly a fresh baked loaf of bread. Oh my mistake. This is the wildly unique giant bread bug, with the texture and vibrancy only a living creature can possess. Don't let your eyes and gut deceive you. This lumbering muffin might just take offense if you mistake it for a loaf of fresh bread. <laughs> the miniature snoot whacker. Oh, what a name. Freeze cake, classic. So, pyroclasmic slooch, 
Moldy Slooch. Oh, that's what it's, that's it? Just Moldy? Disappointed by that name, not gonna lie. Then we got Moss that exists. Ochi and Moss are two peas in a pod. It's quite unprecedented that a space dog should meet such a similar creature on a far off unknown planet. You could even call it miraculous. Could they be siblings separated at birth? No, that's just not possible. <laughs> nice. Did we mention the water wraith? Living, yes we did. All right. How could you possibly put yourself away? Cool. Anything else that I need to look at and do? I don't think so. Okay, I'm gonna go for a bit of a pee break because I have been drinking a lot of Monster. It's my first morning. We are three hours into this section, so we're next up gonna be doing the expedition of nighttime. Uh, but we're not there just yet. So in the meantime, uh, let me uh, pause that there. I need to change our title to talk about nighttime because we're going to night area three. Area three, uh, area th three, final nights. Area three, final night. We'll leave that. In the meantime, here is another advert. They are going to start repeating if you're here for the long term. If you've been here a long time, then I apologize, but uh, I ran out of my, my pee break screens. But hey, it's everybody's favorite. It's pee break Daz. He'll be with you for the next five or so minutes. See you tomorrow. So, hello everybody, how you doing? It's another pee break Daz. What a surprise, I do a lot of peeing. At some point I'm gonna have to start repeating these clips, but I've got a handful to get through, so maybe I don't need to do that, we'll find out. Anyway, hiya, what's up? I'm here to tell you about the month of September. Obviously, the month of July, we're in right now. We're doing a big Pikmin week, you've probably been aware. We're streaming this every day on top of trying to beat this thing 100% in one session. Why did I choose to do that? I did, it's what we're dealing with, it's fine. For the month of August, we're entirely gone. I'm doing something else, okay? I'm doing Edinburgh Fringe. It's a whole other side hassle thing. I've got a, you know, a whole career as a YouTuber. Now maybe a career as an actual celebrity a actor comedian. Funny how life does that. Forget all about them. We're talking about September today because I have a whole billion bunch of plans, okay? Let me tell you just a handful, okay? Now that September's coming around, I will have free time. I'll be done with all my August stuff and Pikmin will be sort of done. Everyone's used to it, and now we can start reusing it. I want to make Pikmin in all sorts of forms of content. We're doing speed runs and challenges this week, right? But for a whole month of August, I've got a little bit of time to plan more. I will continue to make Pikmin content all through September. We're gonna force more of a Pikmin renaissance. Some creators may stick around for Pikmin 4 stuff after they've beaten the game. I'll be there to highlight them. But also, there are all sorts of creators over the last decade that have popped up. There are creators that I have not known existed because I wasn't around when they started existing. I wanna do collabs with just about everybody I can in every single form that I can possibly think of, okay? I like the idea of doing, for example, a Pikmin game show where I'm the host in the middle and we have eight players around the edges and they're each got to do a challenge. Something funky, like even um, something specific. Like it could be quizzes like, oh, you know, can you name the Latin name of whatever this creature is? Yada, yada, yada. But we can also do things like challenge mode challenges where everyone has to do the same level of a mission mode but they have to get it done at the same pace. They have to do some, uh, some, some puzzle making. It's like, okay, bring me a, a treasure that has citrus in it and then you can play any of the four games games they're all available at the switch and they have a round to like beat the arrest i want to do challenges like that i want to do simple things like playing trying to beat the game with an extinction every single morning some of them are solo some of them are head to head some of them are four against each other sometimes it's the host me against everyone else around the rim I want to make plans in a million different ways, in every sort of form. I've already started speaking to some people. I've got music creators, obviously some of the more theorist side, uh, just general veterans of YouTube speedrunners. There are elements of the Pikmin community that I want to help bring together. I don't have time to do it this week. I've got a lot going on. I've also not got any time in August properly. I can only do plannings and DMs, but September, oh. We're going to start bringing things together in September, and I hope you look forward to it. I apologize I'm gone for the month before, but once I'm back, oh, oh, am I back. Now, if you would like to get involved yourself, please do DM me. Last time I said this, it was kind of vague on where to DM me. The point being, DM me anywhere. It could be Twitter. It can't be threads. We don't have DMs there yet. Unless we do, in which case, DM me on threads. DM me on Instagram. DM me on TikTok. You can't really DM me on Discord, um, but 
any of those options, just get a message to me. A YouTube comment probably won't reach me, and even less so will like a stream chat, but it's fine. Do the best you can with the, what you want. If you'd love to get involved, let me know your history with Pikmin. Even if you're just a fan, let's just put things together. I can see a million quiz ideas. I can see a million of gameplay challenges. So even if you're not good at the game, I can find a way to get you involved. Let's just make a Pikmin community in motion, all right? I want to highlight the Pikmin community. I'd love to do a simple thing. Here's one that anyone can do. Uh, we'll get into a video call one-on-one, -on -one, have a chat about Pikmin, and then I'll ask you a bunch of hot takes and opinions about Pikmin. Get a hundred answers. Maybe 20 is a bit more plausible. And then I can say, here's the Pikmin's community on uh, the Gatling Groink. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe something a bit more interesting than a gun shooting cannon fish if that's even optional, but you know what I mean. It's something like that. I want to do a million things. I can't do them till September, but once we get around to it, oh, do I have a million plans. Similarly, if you have any plans or you have any suggestions for what kind of funky content you can imagine going on, let us know. Maybe it'd be something as simple as a four-person Nuzlocke, you know? They're all trying to do the Nuzlocke at the same time, see who gets the furthest. Uh, with rules that I set, you know, or a, or a roulette that changes the rules every single day. Oh, that's just a solo thing, and I'll just do a Pikmin Nuzlocke in some form. Who knows? It's a million ideas, it's a million plans. I got uh, five, six weeks to work it out, but September, mwah, it's all coming together. Anyway, that was the little update from there. I've been passing the time for the past five minutes. I'm sure I've finished peeing or grabbing dinner, so uh, I'll see you for the next pee break. Bye-bye. Oh, I didn't see you there. Hiya. <laughs> uh, I saw someone mention the game show sounds fun. It does. I'm really excited to make a game show thing. Hello, Tong. Uh, and also, uh, someone else came up with a nice solo suggestion that I just heard, which was really, really cool. Uh, which was, yeah, one type per day. Which I think sounds really cool. So you're going to get reds one day, blues another day, yellow another. That'd be perfect. That'd be, that sounds so fun. I'd love to do it. I haven't actually finished breakfast yet, so I'm doing that now. I've accidentally unmuted something. Oh no, it's just that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, so that'll be the plan. You're going to stop playing. Yeah, I will do. Then. <laughs> I'll stop when this bit happens. <laughs> uh, but at the very least, I'm not stopping for at least 12 hours. From now. I'm really excited for all the Pikmin content. Me too, man. It starts in September mostly, but yes. I hope people are still around for it. There's a problem with a beard. Milk gets everywhere. Every food is, an, is a hazard now. I didn't have to deal with this in the Pikmin three days. feel sick actually <laughs> I think I'm scoffing it a little bit too fast but I need to we're okay we're almost done <sighs> do I wash it down with monster or water <laughs> I believe I'm getting a new delivery of water soonish so I've got two bottles and a can with me right now Didn't mean to angle that as if I'm literally doing a sponsored bit. I'm not sponsored by Smart Water. But if I was to say anything good about Smart Water, it's the only water I'm allowed to drink. I, uh, I don't know if everyone ever knows this. I know a lot of people can dig up old memories from all my Pikmin mental ramblings. Uh, I couldn't drink water for the longest time. I almost drowned, I think, on two or three separate occasions as a kid. And I think that did some like traumatizing in my brain that my body rejects drinking water. Except Smart Water. Uh, last year, my dentist was like, you have aged teeth. You may brush all the time and you may floss accurately, but because you drank only black currant as a replacement for water for 25 years, your teeth are 10 years older than they're supposed to be. You need to stop drinking anything with acid. Not even like Coke that's me melting it, which is, yes, gonna take it. But because I was drinking juice, literally living the ways of Pikmin 3, that was less effective 
but over 25 years it's aged my teeth, so I had to get into water. So I bought every type of bottled water, tap water doesn't work for me, and I was like, right. And then eventually I found smart water. Thankfully it's a brand that's exploded recently and is everywhere, um, apart from 40 minutes away from this current house, but you know, what can you do? So I, I drink this now. I get like a, every couple weeks I get like a big batch of like 20 to 30 of these in a big box. My poor delivery driver. It's very heavy, but um, there you go. Do I want another monster can? I'm being asked. Yeah, go on. But there you are. There's a fun fact about me. I should bring up more stories. I, don't, I haven't done that much this playthrough. Bacon says, I'm going to go now see your dads. All right, then I'll see you in the future. Don't you worry. I'll be here. What about collecting all treasures in alphabetical order or some other unusual order? That'd be interesting. I like that. I thought I got food on my teeth. Don't look. Okay, here we go. What were you eating? It was uh, Kellogg's Special K breakfast. That's uh, cereal. Right. Smart water is the smarter water. Yeah, I don't know why. It's weird. American water brands always say, like, it's got electrolytes in it. And I'm like, what does that mean? I don't think we say that in Britain. We just get on with our day. Who knows? Right. The music's about to fade out. If we haven't got the medicine, let's prepare ourselves. Oh, no, wait. No, one other thing. I was told to do this in the break, and I just wasn't reading it properly before. Ending, isn't it? It is, it's just taking a bloody time. All right, I'll do it myself. Nothing would make me happier. Now get ready. There is apparently a leafling look I can take on now. <laughs> wow. I mean, it, it makes me have this, this old body type. I don't want to look like Charlie, man. Give me a leafling that looks like this. Is that so hard? Oh, that's so... Disappointing. No, I don't like it. No, thank you. You know what? That's another big complaint for me. All the leaflings have the same body type. I don't think they should. It should just be long hair. Let me be a twiggly leafling. You know? Ah, oh, well, man. Ah, oh, well. Electrolytes is just like salt. See, I didn't know that. I think it's because we have a better, a, a more, you know, we probably do say salt in Britain. We don't say electrolytes. Because like, why have you, what, like, why have you called it electro, like, you make it sound technologically, but it makes it sound smarter, I guess. I don't know. Marketing in America is weird. Wait, Daz, are you on the last area? I'm not. I'm on the fourth area. Unless that is the last area. Could be for all I know, but I, I don't think it is. It's minerals in the water which conduct electricity, hence electro. Ah, it's all the bits already in tap water, basically. Well, ah well. It's got electrolytes in it. I guess every water will have it, so it's not that special. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Right, we're doing f level three danger. Did we ever do that before? Oh no, we didn't. This is going to be the hardest night level ever. Oh god, I'm going to need all the help I can get. I think it's time for chaos, catastrophe, and hurdle sound effects. We'll make it work. <sighs> it is time. It is time to tackle the beasts of the serene waters. I do not have time to set up a new setup. But I do have time to play a song about beasts on the side. <laughs> if I knew I was going to use my music so much, I would have made a bigger playlist, but oh well, we're going with it. But it starts when the beasts get angry. Electrolytes are sodium, calcium, and potassium. Okay, cool. Anything but distilled water. Interesting. Whoa, you've given me loads. That is horrifying. Why have you done that? Okay, let's see the lay of the land. We have one big one at the top of the sandcastle, and then no other ones. All of these are irrelevant. It's just a big, 
tall tower defense, is it? Loads of enemies there. Well, then let's take them out now. We have loads of these guys. I'm just going to blaze through down here. Once the fighting starts, the music starts. There you are. All right, then. Time to fight the beasts. Oh, they're already angry. Oh, did I upset them early? Maybe I did. Oh well, we're going for it. What is this music? Welcome to the brain of a Pikmin fan. Don't worry about it. If Pikmin 4 can make remixes of old songs, I could do the same with old memes. coming from. It goes a bit weird at the end there. I don't think the theme works as well, but that's fine. I guess we'll go for the other one now. Go for the classic. Like a blast from the past. It is madness. Look at this. Oh, they are angry over there as well. I think I need to go that way. Oh my god, there's so many! Oh, they're coming everywhere. Uh-oh, they're at the trick knoll. Where did you guys come from? Bam! Easy. Sorted. I was- that was easier than I thought it would be because there was loads of little ones, but we made it. Whew, I'm getting good at this game. I didn't even get to use my catastrophe or hurdles. Sound effect. Playlist. Blast from the past times too. That's what that was. Honey. Now we can make the go. Welcome to my choice of music. See, this is how I stay up late at night. My poor guy, Captain Daz, character Daz, is just running around with the music in to keep him awake. It's hard to fall asleep when that's going through your system, you know? 
when I was trying to go to sleep earlier last night, uh, I had a ride on time stuck in my head trying to sleep. What an effort. <laughs> so that took me a while to sleep. But actually, I slept pretty well. I slept pretty quickly, all things considered. Very strange. <sighs> right, I'm ahead off. Thanks for making me a mod. That's alright, Oliver. Thank you for uh, doing your moderating best. Uh, it's been not a, not a busy shift, has it? So it's pretty chill. We'll probably still be streaming when you come back. Whatever you do. You don't have to keep moderating if you'd like to stop at this point. Like, when you come back, don't worry. But, um, thank you for being with us. I appreciate it very, very much. To be cured one? I thought I made two. Oh, I know. I only had the one out of that. Oh, damn. Okay. How are your limbs not numb? What do you mean? What limbs? Kihi, it's complete at last! Russ, what exactly have you been doing locked up in the lab all night? And behold, my latest invention! This device can perfectly reproduce anyone's voice! And this is useful for rescue work, how? Kihi! Kihi! Only a fool incapable of grasping the seismic implications of great scientific discoveries would ask such a question! Wow, Colin, really? That's a bit much, don't you think? But I didn't. I wouldn't. I'd never say something like that. I hate science. What? Okay, okay, let me tell you what I can grasp. It's that this thing is going to be a problem, so I'm banning it. Key he indeed. <laughs> nice. Afternoon, I'm new to your channel. I've subscribed. Well, thank you very much, Officer Dibble. Welcome. I'm entering the ice fire cave. So exciting. It is. It's really good. How you limbs not long? Oh, I see. You think I've been up all night? I haven't. I went to sleep. I'm just awake now. Right. Administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain. Look who it is. Some dude. Oh, you're the, you're the employer, aren't you? Kit. Nope. An expert in minerals and social niceties. He joined the task force to study raw materials alongside former classmate Osa. Ah. Our work doesn't end here. It's our duty to care for and protect anyone we've rescued and hear what they have to say. Lovely. I have to do another damn night mission. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, now it's going to be easier, so that's fine. I want to cure this other guy as we see them. But now it's time for Hero's Hideaway Nighttime. Oh, God. Level four as well. Ah, you're putting me through the ringer. But we're not there yet. I couldn't really see because I was thinking about your live stream. Damn. More dedicated than I am. I slept while I was on the stream. <laughs> da -da 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 <laughs> Kit is a baby fox, so there's a bit of doggo theme left over. Oh, okay. Kit. No, Kit. Yeah, it's like Kitsune. I have no idea where. What other dog? I don't know. I don't know the dog breeds well enough. I need to look at the rest of them. Like, what's Osa? What's, like... There was someone called, like, Tyler. Tywin or something, wasn't there? Layla as well? Oh, I, oh, I don't know. Whatever. Right. Ominous kitchen. They've left the stove on. No! They're gonna burn the whole house down. Did they at least turn the lights on? No, of course they didn't. Of course they didn't. Is this gonna be the right vibe? No. No, that will never be the right vibe. I, all my hurdles and, like, good songs for this are a little bit too slow, I think. You'll need Glow Pikmin more. Um, oh, we'll have Ochi wait. Worm, worm, what is going on? How am I meant to make any of this work? I don't know how enough I'm going to make this work. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, great. Okay, they're angry now.
light camera action for the nighttime sequence. Ah, shoot. The Amish Lumino is under attack! This does nothing. I thought it was coming for us, we're fine. Oh, it's almost done. Oh, they got it. Thank you for the sub. It's a bit of a hectic time, but we're making it. Who's angry now? I don't see anyone angry. Okay. Oh, maybe it's this guy. Pressure defeated all those creatures. Wasn't even sure if it was finished at the end of the night. <sighs> Amazing work tonight, as per usual. Please play all the knights in the house now. Uh, but we haven't got the things ready for him. I think we're fine. Oh no, I've made a mistake. I, uh. I realize I put area four, area three nighttime. It's actually area four. Oops. I didn't update the thing, but it's fine. We're now doing daytime area four. We'll, like, one last batch will be fine once we get a couple more leaflings. One more cable, too. I'm sure we'll have the leaflings we need to make stuff. Do the next night, highly recommend. Do you really want me to do the night mission now? Do the second one at least. Okay, everyone really wants me to do that? Alright, fine. Area 4, night mode. Even though I got two medicines and I don't need more, please do it, night. Oh, this is ominous, but alright. Okay. You've convinced me. You're all you're all telling me something's gonna happen. What is that? What what am I to expect? I don't know what this means. Why does nighttime on this planet have to be so creepy? What's this? Comms guy, are you afraid of the dark? No, I'm totally fine with dark and the nighttime on other planets. It's just there's something about this place. It feels like something might jump out and get you at any moment. Ha ha! Sounds like you're scared of ghosts. You know there's no such thing, right? <laughs> well, actually, science has yet to disprove the existence of ghosts. What? Yon, you're all into all this ghost hooey? Really? No, I wouldn't say that, but there is something that's been on my mind. 
You ever notice how the corpses left by the creatures during the day are nowhere to be found during night missions? Oh. Hold up. Uh. Can we please stop talking about this? That's just a mechanical oversight. That's right. Because all the night creatures do also disappear and like just fade away. What is going on here? Is this entire place an illusion? The whole planet is fake? The whole planet is a creature? Nah. That's not what they're saying, is it? Right, administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain. Oh, look who it is. Some dude. There's not enough elf body types, I feel like I'm seeing. Como. Here to study hydraulic cycles, she hopes her research will save her home planet from industry caused ecological destruction. Good luck with that, buddy. But hey, a renewable energy source would be interesting here. Other than an endless food source, of course. Okay. Since by popular request everyone wants me to do this second night mode here, I'll do it. Level 3, Feasting Center. Oh god, I'll prepare my catastrophic music now. Gonna be tough. <sighs> I'm 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 concerned. I'm gonna be honest. I am afraid of what's going to happen. I don't know what it is, but I can just tell something something funky is gonna happen. Oh, hello! Good start. Sweet. Well, you're immune. Glow pick when you're immune. It's fine. Here's what I'm going to do this time. I'm going to activate every troll. Where are we? Are we right near a guy? You put me somewhere different. Oh no, there's an enemy. What? Where are we? Okay, fine. So we have a thing here, a troll here, and a troll there. Two trolls. Fine then. Ochi, I need you over by this troll. That's a, That's an enemy in the way. So go for this troll. As we then hunt over here. We'll try to dodge this guy as best we can. That's a sizable creature there. Oh no! That's not all this area is going to be, is it? Just constant ones of these? Oh, this is going to be awful if that's what's going on. Don't take your eyes off the luminol. Oh my god. Oh my. No. 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 I refuse. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Genuinely don't know. Oh, but they're angry now. Okay, how many have we got? How many? Okay, not too bad. Just this guy, looks like. Hiya! We need to save him! Get him! Get him, get him, get him! Lovely stuff. Okay. Trick nulls are being attacked. They destroyed the trick null already? Where? Whom? Oh, it's those guys. It's the Sheerwigs. Hey, buddy. Don't you dare. Think you have enough Glow Pikmin? No. Not even slightly. Oh, hiya. Thank you. 
Yes. I don't know what you said, but yes. Yeah, totally. Just, you know, a few things going on at the same time. Thank you. Yes. Right. I'll see you in a bit. I mean, this isn't even the worst mission, but it feels like it's going to be. The build-up to it. Something's being attacked! They're attacking the main one! I'm so distracted! Come on, switch back! What is this? Oh, it's just a freaking tiny Sheerwig as well of all things. No! We're gonna lose this one. We- Oh! No! 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 I didn't need drinks right now! No! As creatures go, that sure is a strange one, isn't it? They've brought him back. In every form, they've brought him back. Those eyes, I think he may be coming for the luminol. Oh my god. Well, it's fine, we've already lost this mission. They're attacking the luminol. Bloody hell. <sighs> Everything that could have gone wrong there did. I had a disruption IRL. My things were not working. The music wasn't there. Okay, newbie, I'll lend you a hand because the captain wants me to. Oh, man. Oh, man. I can't believe... They brought it back. You got some guts. Go get them. It's the fact that I have so much I have to juggle between with all these damn enemies. I can't do it with Ochi, man. Ochi doesn't work, man. I need to activate the troll near the end. That's going to be the technique. Here's what we'll do, right? We'll work it out again. We're going to have that there. Ochi defends the main one, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to build up the numbers first. Avoid that guy. Hopefully he doesn't get cracked in yet. No, he doesn't. We're going to go down here to get this troll. I think is best. Then what's the next best step? Uh, let's get ten on these. It's chill now. It won't be for a moment. Then. Have five there. Activate this. Get these five here. We just need maximum glow pigment. Then I need to go on the hunt once it starts. I can't do it from Ochi's back. That's the part that makes it difficult. Right. It's started now. So, now, how do we do things? How do I make this work? I need something a little chaotic. Um, who's angry first? It's you guys. But I kind of want to deal with you guys now. I won't, though. You just stay there. We'll make it work. I'm lagging. Just what I need. Lag right now. Okay, one dive does it correctly. You're already there. Did I go the wrong way? Come on, man. Come on, instantly! It's these damn Sheerwigs, man. Where'd they even come from? Where are the rest? Where are the rest? They came from somewhere, didn't they? Maybe they didn't. What do I know? Screw me, right? Right, now that that's missing, we can take on this guy. For a little bit. We've then got... Um, where are the other little guys? Angry guy there. Anyone else nearby? Oh, all of those guys. Okay. Well, this guy's gonna take a while then, so we'll swip. There's a big guy coming, but he's not here yet.
Oh, what? I missed him. Where? How? Oh, this guy. Ha, ha, ha. This isn't even the worst bit yet. I appreciate you're going this direction, though. Oh, God, it's all at once, man. Well, let's hear the music they've got first. Is it new music? Let's hear this. Oh my god, Luminol being attacked. Yeah, that's fine, but... Oh my god, there's more here! The bloody Shearwigs! It's all at once. Okay, what do you do? You're not even going for the troll! You're too smart for that! Take him down. Ah! It removed the trick knoll? No, what was that? What was that? Okay, we're okay. We're okay. I think we can get through all this. We took it down. That's a good start. That's a great start. The last one I wanted to really be my final victory song, but there it is. Ah, we made it. Oh my god. Wow, that was great. The smoky prog was real. Satan has hatched, and they added a heartbeat. I wouldn't say it's cute in HD. I'll be honest. I don't like what I saw there. Surprisingly easy to defeat. I think it's because it was so massive. And I had, like, I had so many P Pikmin, and I could freeze it. Does that guy exist out in the wild? I bet he does, doesn't he? I knew exactly what it was the moment I saw that egg as well. Uh... <sighs> oh, God. <sighs> but it's over. It's over for now. I can have a nice long break from the night modes before they kill me at the end of the night. <sighs> you just have to be so aggressive to get it to work, huh? Damn. Hey, new blood, have you been using glow seeds? Not at all. Well, please do. I want to know more about glow pigments. So try experimenting with the seeds a bunch for me, okay? There are limits to what I can do being stuck here in the SS Shepherd so much, you know? Donnie, you're not conducting experiments on the glow pigment, are you? No, no, of course not. You have nothing to worry about. Besides, the glow pigment are fine. Fire, ice, electricity, none of it bothers them. Not even poisonous gas. So really, I can't do anything unkind to them. <laughs> And tell me, how did you figure that out? Damn, we out here running a, a, a torture room on the SS Shepherd? Horrifying. That egg looked rotten. Oh, it was. And it hatched by itself. So it's not even that we broke it and caused issues. It hatched by itself. It's spreading its family. It's spreading. Hmm. Hmm. Right, let's go say hi to the new leaflings we've cured. And then we'll get right back to probably one of my favorite areas, actually. I'm Como, an eco-hydrologist. Well, that's a quite a word. The environment on my planet is well below standard. The water quality and natural purification systems are devastated. 
I'm here to investigate the water on this planet and use my findings to improve the state of water back home. Getting leafified was a uh, scary. I can't thank you enough for saving me. You saved a lot of lives. I guess that means you're a pretty skilled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's me. You can tell the water on my planet is unhealthy by its color alone. Plus, it stinks. It's not potable and needs to be purified. This planet's water is bright and clear, suitable for drinking. Hopefully, I'll find a way to replicate its purification process. Yeah, that'd be great. It purifies water here? How is there a process? I don't know. A lot of lore here. I'll date- I'll, I'll love to, like, learn every detail in the future. Thank you for saving me. My name's Kit. I spend most of my time investigating minerals. In fact, that's why I came here to do. The minerals on this planet are amazing. It's got different kinds of minerals and the- uh, Ah, I'm sorry. Uh, I started to get carried away there. I, I lose my ability to use vocabulary. But, uh, the important thing is that you know how much I appreciate you rescuing me. Because I do. Ah, uh, yeah. My job is all about investigating a different material resource. Uh, uh, the resources I found on this planet are exceptional. Did you know the purity of the minerals in the ground here is... Oh, pebbles. I almost got carried away, huh? I don't actually know the unit of purity. Is that a thing? Like electricity in watts and water in liters? Purity in units of shine? I don't know. What, what unit would that be? Anyway. You're making some good progress curing folks. You know what that means? Reward time! Plants purify water along with a ton of other... Ah, I see. Is that what it is? It's real life lore. <laughs> I don't want real life lore. Give me virtual lore. This is all I care about. The lore of video games, please. Like, I, I look forward to seeing what the wiki looks like for Pikmin later on, with, like, extensive information about every single one of these characters and everything they have to say. It'll be interesting. Oh, let's see that Piclopedia entry. Smokey Pop never got one other than in Pikmin 1's credits. That's a good point. I'd love to see it. Just a little more and I'm complete. Now then, if you want to really have fun, let's see here. So, Dwarf Frosty Bulb Orb. Which somehow is new. What are you? A sheer fly? A sheer flea? I hate them. I didn't know they were related to shears. Now I'm even more upset. I'd rather they were Ujidani. There he is. Right next to the water wraith and everything. Same uh, confused family as moss. Ah. Uh, Aha. Uh -huh. Anyway. The smoky prog. Look at it. Oh my god. It is a heartbeat. Die! 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 Wah! Why do you have a mouth now? Wah! Wah! Die! Die! Wah! Wah! Die! Wah! Anyway, in the night above- in the night above ground... Who knows? In the night above ground, or the dark passages below, you'll suddenly notice an egg. If you leave the egg alone, a being of terror is born out of it. A mysterious fiend dragging itself along. But I feel like this misunderstood deer may be trying to communicate with us. Perhaps its tail is a sad one. Oh no, what does that mean? It clutches its rollers with zealous devotion. This guy's dragging itself along. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, honey. Huh. Huh. <coughs> One of the many things to do in Pikmin 4 Piclopedia, torture and kill! Yeah. We're almost done. Let's find Olimar. Have you found any explorers from Planet Kopai? No. I don't know if they're going to appear, to be honest. It has it has been like they've completely removed Pikmin 3 plot. This feels like this is this is a reboot. This is a mixing, right? This is Olimar's first time on the planet with Moss now, having the experiences he had in Pikmin 2, like the Water Wraith. It's one 
And then ev- he sent out an SOS. Everyone came by in just their own individual things. And everyone's crashed and having issues. I think it's a hodgepodge smorgasbord of Pikmin references, story, and fan service, really. I don't know. Maybe because, you know, it doesn't have legs. That's why it's sad. I mean, maybe. Right. Okay. So, don't forget the ice onion. You're very right. We did see that. So... We are going to do an up high level now. We're going to do all this. So we unlocked this, right? This is the other side of the cave that we just dived towards haphazardly. We can, with this, get up here, jump to here, get ourselves a nice onion. Love that for us. Uh, any treasures? It looks like possibly no. Avoid the hob that is still on fire. That's a massive gas um, expense. That could be water. So we'll get blues out. Blues for all this. Carrying over. Fine, dandy, happy, chappy. Something for Ochi up there. Uh, enemies to fight. And then... And then I kind of think we're coming to a conclusion. We can then come here... And have to work out numbers. How do that? And also, how do this? My yellows didn't reach up there. Oh yes, it was there from here. That's where this goes. Yes. Okay, so we can get that, which is lovely. Anything else we're missing? We did everything over here, didn't we? Yeah. We didn't get this toy here. So we can work on that. We have gotten this. We can't leave. I think that's all. Yeah, just a bunch of toys there. This guy, yeah, there. Oh, there is this. What is that? Okay, that's another thing we'll collect on the way. Some extra little corpses on the side. Just a little last minute excursion. I have gone the complete wrong direction. Nice one, me. The theory is that the smoky prog is a malformed wally hop. I think it's a bit more than that, to be honest. Oh, and then there's a tiny treasure in the middle of all that, is there? Typical. Okay. Do I even need a spit up? Ochi can do most things. Here's what we'll do then. We'll have our guy here. Ochi, wait out here. We're going to get a small collection of, uh... Winged Beakman? Eight's not enough, though. Purple. Purples. But then there's one each. What is it? There was two enemies. Uh, then there was the treasure to pick up. We'll just take ten. Ten's fine. We're going to go off and do our own thing. Way off over here, and then on the way back. Meanwhile, Ochi's gonna do everything else. There's a bunch of stuff that needs blues. A few things that might need yellows. Anything else in the way? No. Why can I only... Oh, because of the... Because of the... Is that gonna be a pain? No, because anyone can get there. Then it's fine. Lovely. Come along, everyone! Yes, that's satisfying. My theory is that the smoky prog is green. Thank you for your contribution, Waffles. <laughs> right, here we be. Ah, Moss is awake. That's lovely. We love that for all of us. Oh my god, it's an onion! Crazy! Ice Pikmin exist? I would have never guessed. A light blue onion! Even though it's frozen, it is still buzzing with activity inside. Fascinating! Yeah. Yeah, it is. How you doing? You okay? Yeah, you're okay. Lovely. You guys grab that. Nice and slowly. You're then gonna come around to where that, uh, creature is. I don't think that's anything relevant. There you go. You go to there now. Oh man, I'm glad I brought so many Pikmin with me, actually. Turns out, very needed. Okay, cool. Uh, can you get back up where you were, Ochi? Where is that? Here. Thank you. Are we being chased? We are, but that's alright. Relatively okay. Okay, cool. Uh, you now need to go to this corpse here. Thank you. 
Right. We're dodging the fire. Uh, ooh, yes. A fourth pellet. It's taken us forever to get this. Ha-ha! Wow! A new colour! My brain has expanded slightly for its colour blindness being slowly irradiated. We've discovered cyan. I know the Pikmin will be excited after this! Yeah. Great. That's fantastic. Love to hear it. Oh, great. What are you? I just wanted you all to have some, some flowers to you. Come on, man. Lovely. Uh, how is character D doing? He's okay. Okay, good. Uh, any more creatures to pick up? Doesn't look it, so you can go back to base. Right, uh, you guys. Lovely that you're so active. But actually, we probably need to do these enemies first. So give us a moment. I missed. Nice one, me. It turns out you can just sprint right under him. Oops. Lovely. Uh, character D. Let's get you out and about. What are you up to? You have an enemy there? No, you have Pikmin there. Okay. Um, anything else we can grab? That we should. There's moss there. We've gotten that treasure now, however slowly it's taken us. Let's go get those two plucked Pikmin. Or unplucked Pikmin, sure. Right. Now we need to sort out whatever the hell you guys do. That's it, you gotta flip them first. Lovely, get up there! Beat them! Beat them! Lovely stuff! Okay, now... Let's get collecting just about everything, shall we? Um, oh, and also this. Charge, my dude! Okay, uh, we have char- we have arrived, beautiful stuff. I think that's us done up here for a while. So, um, just make your way back. Pick up these guys before they disappear. How about that? Right, Ochi! Oh, actually, no, Daz, I need you here. Thank you. I only have a missing one. Ah, that's, well, that'll help enough. Um, right, how do I do this next bit? You're about to hit a day. Oh wow, look at that! 24 hours on the game. We have actually only done 18 hours of the actual gate uh, stream, but that's all good. If you charge all your Pikmin and Nectar, they will all go to it. Uh, not on, not with, uh, not with Ochi, I'm pretty sure. But hey, we're at 24 hours. Blimey. And we just keep on the grind, don't we? We just keep on going. Um, actually, let's not get everyone going quite so fast. It's available, sure, but um, give it a moment. Okay, so I've got it, what, the wrong way round? Is that what you're telling me? Oh no, well actually it doesn't matter. We've still got the, the, pre the treasure. So I think it's fine. Oh, that's a bad time. Okay. Oops. Um, right. Uh, uh, uh. Go back to base. Ochi, can I get you to go to where Moss is going, please? Thank you. We then need to work out this cave before everything finishes. That's the big hurdle now. Is this game worth buying? Oh, Absolutely yes. There is so much content. I am 24 hours in and we're still going. It is so good, man. Especially if you're a Pikmin fan. This has so many beats to it. It's really, really well done. Aya. 
Thank you. I'll take you. I'll take a little bit of you. I'll take a little bit of you. I'm gonna crush you. Love that for me. These are all a little bit slow, but that's fine. Numbers and symbols. Could this be? Wait, where? Where'd you see numbers and symbols? Ah, you talked about this? Is that the Pikmin that were carried? Okay. Quick, use B to wake them up. Right. Just before I go, there's this up here. Huh. Don't go through the water now. What's outside? Can we see? Not really. Okay, that's fine. Let's see. Uh, uh, that's all moving. That's, I think, also on transit. Hmm. It is now this. We just need to work out symbols of things. Now, it's not the treasures we've been collecting, is it? I don't think so, because it said numbers and symbols. They're talking about the cave. The, the entrance. Ah, top right of your screen, 256. How did... Is that from me collecting treasure? I do remember seeing that at some point. Oh, okay, well that answers that question. Kind of wish I could have, like, opened up a menu to see that. But for what it is, it's fine. Okay, then. Oh. Bring! Hello. Oh, you're just standing waiting, huh? Oh, he's the wrong way around. Hello. It's that leapling again, isn't it? Huh? They're hiding in a bunker? Could that mean that after all this time... The leafling is Captain Olimar? Ah! You have done well to find this place. Now the final test awaits. Come. This is the final test? Look! That dog! The treasure is the code. It's the cards you picked up. Ah, cool. I wish I saw it. I wish I could, like, open up the treasure guard at any point or something. I don't know. If that really is Captain Olima, then he needs to come home with us. By force, if necessary. Daz! Ochi! It's go time. Follow that leafling. The leafling was inside the bunker. Could it be Captain Olima after all? Oh, nice. And you have to jump to get up. Of course you do. But first, let's get sure all these other treasures are gone. Like, that's all empty. That's all empty. Empty, empty, empty. Good, good, good. This we never touched. You're going to be a secret, aren't you? I can tell. But, oh well. We'll do it after. Uh, they're all on their way. But we'll help speed things up if we can. And then, like, it's not even noon. And we're on it. Oh, it's nice to get some flowers, actually, while we can. Oh, good stuff. I think that's all. 82%? This guy hasn't moved. Oh, there's that. There's this. This stupid thing. Uh, we'll get there later, I think, then. Because I can't get this one. This guy. And I've turned off the fan. I can do that right now. It'll be faster this way. Why does he jump only on go here? What? I can't do that! Broken. I think it said I could go here. Um, I don't think that's the fastest route, my dude. Oh, well, it is now. Oh, God. You've made me go slow. I hate going slow, man. Off your trek. You can't go any further. Okay. Alright, then. We've got 82%. We're missing... 
uh, this, I guess, and whatever's in here. So let's go. Oh, your Pikmin cannot join you. Unfinished task on the surface will be called off. It's the final battle against Onima in some Dandori form. I'm getting Pikmin 4. Enjoy. <sighs> Level 4 difficulty Dandori. Okay. We're here. Late area 4. I need to put. Trumpets going slightly. I must admit, your abilities have impressed me. But let us settle once and for all who is the Dandori master. Who are you talking to, Olimar? I don't... No one's in front of you, my dude. <laughs> That's a strange decision they let me do. Anyway. This will be your final Dandori battle. Don't disrespect me. Show me what you can achieve. Give me good music and I will. I need a switch. I need to switch sides. The music's subtle, but it's there. Okay, then. Fine, we'll see what we can do. I will not be holding back. And neither will Ochi. He's going for it now. I probably need more Pikmin now that I think about it. <laughs> They've given me none. Can you hear that music? Is it too quiet? It's slightly different, so I thought I'll keep it. But maybe I do switch it to my own. What do you guys think? New music or keep music? Hey, you collected a bonus find. Yeah, I did. Thank you. Thank you for noticing. It sort of sounds like a quiet version of a Mario Party song, you know? I'll just steal your stuff. Don't mind me. A bonus find can help you a lot. I'm aware of that. It can even give you a big lead. Do you have to tell me that on repeat, Olimar? Give me that, please. Oh, why? More Pikmin? Absolutely. Oh, bolt Glow Pikmin! Oh, perfect! What's that Resident Evil sound effect for? Where am I going? What am I doing? I can hear it. New music? Keep music? We'll keep the music then. It's going. Um, is there anything else I can physically do? Not really. Come on, Ochi. Grab us more items. That's a water hazard. So we need a... It's probably fine. More Pikmin? Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, we'll work on this guy's and then glow Pikmin. And we'll dig this up, Ochi. Okay. Whoa, what are you... Where did you appear? You spawned in just now, didn't you? Well, we'll try not to die to it all. Somebody did. I thought I whistled them away. Come on, buddies. Right, get on in. We need some of these. More and more and more Pikmin. I'll take it. Uh, we're after, what, a Cromad now? Cool, where's that? Or just grab some of these. Don't ruin the rocks. Ah, there we go. There's them. There you go, Glow Pikmin. Get it. Thank you. Um, Rock Pikmin, can you do anything else? You can kind of just like fight this guy, I guess. Go for it. Fight him for a bit. You taking it? Good stuff. We can take the strawberry and the strawberry. Lovely, lovely, lovely. How you guys doing? Slightly dying? That's all cool. <laughs> oh, strawberries are bonuses. Perfect. Right on time. Oh, 
Oh my god, there's loads over here. Forget this. Look at all these bonus finds. How you doing? Oh, you got all this stuff? Perfect, perfect. We got a 50 point lead so far. Yes! Great stuff. Don't need more Pikmin. We need more Nuggets. Uh, take something big. Can you go up here? You can. Perfect. Take it. Where are all our guys? Where are they all? I've got a bunch of frozen people. Oh! What's this? <gasps> Insta win! This is a sneak bomb. It's like two player mode. A forbidden bomb. Transport your opponent's onion to lower their points. Oh! If you steal the Dandorium, that results from the explosion. The tide of the battle may turn. Oh, I love it. Oh! It's all coming together. Have I got electrified, guys? Why has that happened? Careful around that sneak bomb! Don't you dare. Perfect, thank you. Uh, you guys are a bonus. If I can get you on the right side of the fight, thank you. Oh, it's going our way. Hold on, hold on. Get it, get it, get it, got it, got it. Move. Ochi, we need you to stop what you're doing and grab it now. Oh my god, it's still not strong enough. Oh, it is, it is. Good, good, good. Oh my god, that was close. Blimey neck. Is that our guys? No, okay. Where are all our Pikmin, man? We have 50, don't we? Okay, there they are. Come on, guys. You need to get going. What? <laughs> Did you see that? They were 100% vertical for a second there. I don't entirely know what happened there. Sneak bomb approaching. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Oh, I'm gonna get it. I'm getting it in there. Yes, they didn't have that much, I'll be honest, but it's fine. Oh no, oh no, a sneak bomb. I must collect the Dandorium quickly before my opponent steals it. <laughs> well, Dad, you gotta know that the if the thing could get you a big lead... Oh, thank you for the help. <laughs> Ochi, get out of there, man! I can't tell which are mine, but I'm, I'm sure they exist somewhere. Is the Golden Sniffer still relevant? Is it relevant every time, or is it... No? Probably not. Right, I'm gonna zap the guy. And do whatever this does. Oh, it drops a, it drops a mine, doesn't it? Yep, it's a bomb. Oops. Ruined it. Sorry about that. I think we're good, right? We've got 200 plus. What does this do? Oh, it makes them like... Oh, it poisons them all. Interesting. I'm just putting him through the ringer now. Uh, and then we'll have you guys run past. Let you guys get eaten a while. Oh god, I guess we're in a fight now. Oops. Sorry. Didn't quite plan for that. But we're winning. Other than Ochi dying. Lovely. A rousing success, I'd say. Whoa. Bam. Whoa. Final battle was somehow like kind of the easiest one. Unless there's more, I wouldn't be surprised. What else is there? We did it! We finally did it! I have been defeated. Are we gonna get him? Have we finally collected Olimar and we can cure him? If I had Dandori abilities like yours, maybe I could have found my way home. Oh, that's so sad. 
I am Captain Olimar. I only wish to be reunited with my wife and children. Oh, bro. Oh, God. No way. Did he just say Olimar? Our suspicions were correct. We located Captain Olimar. Let's bring him to the rescue command post and get him back to his old self. Is Moss going to join us? What should we do about the dog? We can't just leave it here. No, is it four player? Do I get four captains? Huh? It gone! It ran away! No! I thought I was going to get four captains. Two dudes and two, two dogs. That would have been great. So it goes. Right now our top priority is rescuing Olimar. Time to clear out of that cable ready, Daz. You've got this. You absolutely dominated him. Thank you very much, the guy. This is the bad ending of Pikmin 1. Canon. Wow. <laughs> and in this version, he also had experiences that he had in Pikmin 2 in the first adventure that he dies on. Wow. That's so cool. Good morning, Daz and chat. I am back from sleeping. Welcome back, Trinity Tesla. Hello? It's been a long road to get here. And we're not done yet. Let's get Olimar and the SS Beagle. The Leafling is still unconscious. Hurry and bring them b safely back to the SS Beagle so we can find out if it's truly Captain Olimar. Cool. I would love to do that. Um, I don't think I need the rest of these now. Only yellows. Right. I want you to take Captain Olimar. I can't believe we've finally got him. But we're missing this guy. Which we can't access because the fan is off. Why is the fan off again? That goes to there. And then we ride it there. Yeah. Sorted. We can go there. In fact, no. I do want to I do want to go here. I want to get the views, man. I want to get the look of it all. Whoops. There he is. We've got him. I goat him. Congratulations, you won. Because you put a bomb in his onion. <laughs> Pikmin, man. Bit of a weird game sometimes. I can't believe you were right, Daz. I mean, hey. I'm a Pikmin veteran. I know where these things are going. Totally. Um, okay, then we ride this. Whee! Wahoo! Aha! There he is down there. Tiny, tiny little Captain Olimar. How things have changed, eh? And then... Come on. That works. Don't tell me it doesn't. Apparently I needed all these excess yellows to actually catch the damn thing. Beautiful. See, I imagine when you're supposed to picture Pikmin, this is what you're supposed to picture. Running around like a giant human realm, making these massive scale jumps and ex like adventures to get places. And it's all working together beautifully. God, like Ochi's tiny in the scale of the world. Isn't that strange? That's kind of strange. Right, also, I'm going to build up my ice. I have loads of ice. But uh, only these guys actually have onions, so... We'll make a last-minute dash. I forgot, can you guys climb? Or do you... Yeah, yeah, you do. You're not just like Rock Pikmin, you dash off things. The Assembled Courage series complete. As for everybody else... Ah, uh, it's a shame the Pikmin don't appear. I thought they would in the cutscene. Huzzah! Rescue complete! Ah, look at him. Look at him. Do we have to repair his ship? Because it kind of looks broken. That makes sense. Of course, we can't read his ID badge due to the leafication. Which we can fix now, because we already experienced the smoky prog. But if this Captain Olimar, if this is Captain Olimar, then it means mission accomplished. That's right. Now let's get him cured and fast. Rescued Olimar. Fantastic work, everyone. We can use the cure to see if this is Captain Olimar. Let Yoni take it from here. You've earned some rest. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is good, man. Okay. Well, we're 100% done here, 
And I think we have all, all types of Pikmin we would ever need. We have a hundred of the ones that have onions, right? Yeah, look at that. We have only eight winged, because they don't, they never want to give me any, and I keep losing them. But 300, 200, 200, and 78? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty decent, all things considered. So, oh, oh, does that make things easier? That might make things easier in the future. Let's end the day there. You will lose 26 Pikmin. Never mind. Where's that happening? The go here feature was uh, not quite functioning for me, apparently. I will lose seven Pikmin. Where are they, then? It's right back to the tutorial days again. Just running around trying to find my full 100 Pikmin in this homely little land here. Oh, do you have your home signal so you can call them back? I do. Let's just do that then. It is easier. And like, what else am I going to use it, you know? Uh, home six signal. Recall all Pikmin currently outside your squad and those fighting to the SS Beagle right away. Oh, that's so cool. And there they come running in. Beautiful. Thank you for that assistance. Such a good mechanic. And we still have some? I don't know if it's... Do we have that permanently? Maybe we do. Well, I think that's everyone. There's one idol still about. How did that happen? There. There he is. Okay. I need to lose... I, like, these items, man, they're good, but they're too good. I don't like using them all the time. Is there a purple onion? Because I don't know. Uh, we haven't found it. I think they do only grow in caves, like Pikmin 2 for the purples and whites. But the ice Pikmin are above ground, so that's pretty neat. Shoot, we should be able to find a rock onion at some point, but I guess we're just, just not there yet. I'm going to now plug in Area 5. So lovely to hear that theme. One old leafling awaiting cure. Oh, just four things? Oh no, no, not yet. Oh, nature's candy. Why? Because it's sweet or it's just vegetables? Just the vegetable collection. Okay. That's six. We've made ourselves a gigantic Megatron. And that's all. Okay, the think tank combo bot, the body, uh, the doggy bed, the love nugget, power emblem, perforated raft, and trap lid. <sighs> so good, man. So satisfying, this game. At last, we finally rescued Captain Olimar, or rather, a leafling that could be Olimar. But before we resume, I'm afraid I need to pee, and I want to see what happens once I'm a bit more ready and prepared, so give us one second. Here's a little bit of a pee break, Daz. I'll be with you real soon. See you in a mo. Hi there again, it's me, it's Pea Break Daz. How are you all doing? I don't even know if I'm going to pee, I might have gone downstairs to have lunch. Probably not. I do a lot of peeing. Anyway, hey, I'm here to help pass the gap so that you always have a little bit of Daz content, even when Daz literally has to vanish. I'm filming this the night before, so I'm a little bit uh, sweaty, panicked, and stressed. There's a lot of details going into this stream. I don't know why I love overcomplicating everything, including making this the background, and apparently that's part of the lore. 
or, or something. Great, it, it's the aesthetic. I need to get away from that side. I keep cutting my hand off. Uh, anyway, I have a topic for you this uh, this pee break. What a surprise, eh? And it is, what is it? I've forgotten it already. Ah, that's it. It's Discord. So, I am not familiar with Discord five years ago. Five years ago, I wasn't very familiar with it, right? I apparently had an old fan Discord from Pikmin people back in the day, and then I was so inactive because I didn't understand the platform that it dissolved into a general gaming server. No idea where it went, no idea who was involved. I'm just old boomer man. However, I am back now, and we have a functioning Discord. We have had one for two to three years now. If you... Oh god, I need to make commands after this. Sure, if you put in... I don't have a bot in chat. Uh, hey! If anyone knows of the Discord, plug it in chat. You know what, maybe just, just Google Dad's reviews in Discord and it will probably pop up. I'm pretty sure it's a public server. Or look at the link in the description. Bam, there you go. In the description is a link tree and all of our links all in one place. And one of them is Discord. Here's the disclaimer about it though. It is a main channel Daz Reviews Discord. If you haven't noticed, this is being streamed on Daz Reviews 2. It's an entirely separate channel. It's the, you know, it's the old Let's Play channel. This does gaming stuff. And I'm not actually a gaming YouTuber as my main, my main real job, you know? I'm a movie YouTuber. That's what I've become in the re recent years. I don't know if anyone knows that. I don't know if there's like the Pikmin community doesn't know that. I, I don't know how and uh, my branding's everywhere. I don't know what I am. I'm having an identity crisis online, okay? But the point is, this Discord is generally a big movie Discord. But if you go into it, you'll see all sorts of discussion options and suggestions for videos for the main channel. And down below a little bit, I am expanding a second channel segment as well. I didn't expect the music to stop so soon. Oops, let me restart that. Now this one down here does have little things like Pikmin chats and stream suggestions and stuff like that. I would love for you to come in, come in, get involved and use even this secondary segment of the server and I would like to upgrade it and expand it over time. It generally, it's kept quite small because it's pretty inactive. Pikmin, pretty unactive two years ago. Understandable, right? We, we weren't all frothing at the mouth of Hey Pikmin now, were we? Um, but, if you haven't already, and you'd like to get a little bit more involved, maybe get a chance to interact with other people in this community that I would love to... I was gonna say harvest, but I meant that in like the, the gardening thesaurus element, not in the extracting side of things. If you want to interact with other people in our community, go to that Discord server and uh, we'll, we'll start making upgrades, okay? I'm here now. I want to start farming this, growing this, cultivating. That's the gardening... That's the gardening termination on terminology I'm looking for. I am not a thesaurus at 11.09 at night, it turns out. But either way, yes, this was the plug to tell you, come to our Discord. Not only should you give suggestions for future streams we can do, uh, but also, perhaps, suggestions on how to improve the Discord itself. I am a bit of a boomer when it comes to, like, building Discord. There's a lot of tools and services you can use. I don't fully understand it, but if you're a bit of a... If you're a bit of a Discord head, or you just generally have ideas like, oh, we should have a, a Pikmin music chat log, I can make it. Give us the suggestions. We have a channel in there that is Discord suggestions. So there's video suggestions for the main channel, Discord suggestions for Discord changes, and then stream suggestions. They're all in there. Find your peoples, do your thing, and hopefully we can start, you know, building up all of this again. We've been on pause for a few years. But I am fully invested to make this a proper thing that we're going to build back up to again. And I hope you just join me along the way. And if not, hey, you know, we'll, we'll always be here on YouTube. We'll be doing regular posts. I will be keeping this channel going from this point on. I've got a goal in mind. I have a, a muse to work on and all that. So um, stick around and hopefully you enjoy everything we're up to. Anyway, that was a solid 4 minutes and 48 seconds. I'm going to have to... Uh, that's enough time to pee, right? Yeah, it should be fine. I have an ensuite now. I moved I moved house. It's just right there. We'll be fine. I'm going to disappear now and uh, back to your regularly scheduled Daz, eh? Perfect. Lovely stuff, eh? So, we're finally here, aren't we? <sighs> I can't believe we made it. It's funny as well. You know what I really like about the Pikmin universe and me living here for the last 18 hours plus? It's raining IRL here. So I, I went to the loo and I see it's like pouring down with rain. 
I come here and it's never raining. It's always sunshiny and glowing stars. I think, comparatively, it's much lovelier. But we have lost the rain mechanic from Pikmin 3. I wonder if it'll appear for like the final area. I don't know. It's just interesting that we lost that to time, huh? Did you wash your hands, Daz? Of course. I have loads of time. So, of course I did. At last, we finally rescued Captain Olimar. Or rather, a leafling that could be Olimar. That's right. You've done seriously great work getting us up to this point. Incredible work. No doubt about that. I guess I can give you credit where it's due. Good one, newbie. Hi. Yoni, do we have enough medicine in stock to administer the cure? Yeah. We do. I will give him a dose first thing in the morning. Okay, we're counting on you, Yoni. Okie dokie, look at that. Cleared. And we're about to have cleared there. I guess, kind of. Does he run away again? We've investigated four areas 100%. You're welcome, Bernard. Also, MJ's gone. They didn't want to be spoiled of Area 5. Fair enough. See you later, MJ. Doctor, administer the cure. Yes, Captain. This is it. This is it. This is the big time. We made it. The music's building slightly. We're ready for a proper Pikmin moment. Let's see it. Let's see that Pikmin moment. Yes! For once! Yeah. I was going to say, for once, you're the one being rescued. But actually, no, that happens every single time. So many spacesuits. Who are you guys? You're in heaven. You died. Excuse me while I get my bearings. I must have been shipwrecked. Ah, there it is, the SS Dolphin. I never sorted out my Omega Stabilizer. Looks like I've caused you all quite a bit of trouble. My apologies. Ah, oh, the... His theme? Oh, I need to download this soundtrack. I've always avoided getting soundtracks. Because they always spoil me when I lick the whole playlist on like day one. This is so nice. We will never get it, but I'd love to see an orchestra, an orchestra showing of Pikmin music. Listen to this. Ah, oh, sometimes the composer can only bash a spoon and a knife and a fork together, but sometimes. That's so good. This is so good. That was Oliver the whole time? Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> I owe the entire rescue corps a massive thank you. Truly. Forget those damn co pilots. I don't know what they've been. They haven't done anything this whole game, so forget them. They never helped and rescued us at all. Greedy people didn't know how to handle food and work together. <laughs> Plebs, all of them. Oh, how silly of me. I forgot to mention. Here's the cosmic drive key. Oh, sorry. Is that, is, is that not relevant to you? Alright, I'll keep that in my pocket then. I am Captain Olimar of the Great SS Dolphin. You will never see the Hogatate freight ship anymore. He doesn't exist anymore. We've removed him. He was gold once, then they scraped off the gold. Now he's not even a present at all. He doesn't speak. A hard worker and family man who often sacrifices his time off to support his family. He also seems to be a magnet for bad luck. Olima, Hokkatate Freight Employee, Home Planet, Hokkatate. Hokkatate, whatever you wish. That's him! It's Olimar Pikmin! This would have been a perfect time to share his surname. They didn't. Very tactical. What kind of dog breed is an Olima referencing, anyway? <laughs> Just get all your gags out now, anything you can think of. Roll them out now. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have it during concerts or events. We won't. Pikmin's not big enough for it. Unless this game makes it big. This feels like my Tears of the Kingdom, honestly. Like, it's like, it's such a big world, so much to consume. Just get stuck in, play it over the next month. That's what this game feels like. I can't believe Tears of the Kingdom and Pikmin 4 happened two months apart. It's been such a great spring-summertime to be a Nintendo fan. And I've... Uh, uh, 
I have such a, a grumpy face, naturally, but this puts such a smile on it, you know? Ah, <sighs> I love this so much. Onoma, you deserve to go home with your family. Yeah, he's not. He's gonna, as far as I'm concerned, he's gonna stay here for another 16 hours, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. What's an Olima? <laughs> Never heard of it before. Oh, I love that, that instrument. Or, once great SS Dolphin, it's currently in disrepair. My employer is gonna be less than pleased when I return home. Look, it's Olima Olima! <laughs> Like Mario, Mario! I mean, he is an anagram of Mario, so... Well, I had Well, if I hadn't been shipwrecked, we'd never have found all the treasure here! We could have used some of the profits to buy you a new ship! And while we're at it, let's get the SS Shepherd plated in gold! Ha ha ha, really? Oh, that's a funny... That's a funny coincidence of a... idea. Gold plated? No, no. The SS Shepherd would look better with a chrome finish. Are they actually gonna do that? Are we in post-game now? Ahem, that's enough joking around for now. No, we didn't fight a final boss, it's, it was just Dandori. Officers, prepare for our voyage home! It is Pikmin 2, the debt's being completed. We can come back to just get all the stuff, maybe. Copy that! Copy that! Copy that! Copy that! And so on. Copy that! That was quite the adventure, but we finally rescued Captain Olima. Mission accomplished. Screw the students and like that employer that didn't get hurt, like we didn't capture. Screw all of them. It's a bunch of sachos and one Olima. The only thing better that could happen this summer spring is a new console. <coughs> Nintendo. <coughs> Here it is. Come on in. Let's say goodbye one final time up to the skies. In the middle of the day, the Pikmin don't even say goodbye this time, huh? We're just... Oh no, there they are. Bye bye Oh, this is... We're on the post-game, we're here! We must say goodbye to them, too. <sighs> Farewell, Pikmin. Thank you for everything. Quite like Alf, I think. We owe them so much, you know. Ha! <laughs> Excuse my Mickey Mouse-isms. 24 hours and we've beaten the first mission. The debt complete. The vague early startings. Oh, it shattered. Ooh, interesting. Forget all about it. With all of our castaways, except that one employer. We've left him in the dust. He doesn't exist yet. Oh. oh, isn't that lovely? Where's the moon? We have tides. Oh, okay. I thought something ominous, like Star Wars style, was ominously leading over the top. Wow! Well, there you go. Technically an ending. I don't think that's the end of it. Chief Director... Yuji Kando. Director Tetsushi Tsunoda. Ah, I'm wondering where Miyamoto comes up in this. Who's the composer? Tell me the damn composer. That, obviously, only probably like the halfway mark, but that was brilliant. I'd heard all sorts of opinions on where Pikmin 4 lands on like the list of Pikmin things. For me personally, Pikmin 1 is a bit too choppy in early days to be like my favorite of the bunch. Pikmin 2, however, expands that Pikmin 1 world so much to give us so much more creativity, but it is a lot more action-based rather than sort of time-based. Something does get lost. The directors themselves, the developers, knew that there are two types of people. Pikmin 1 people and Pikmin 2 people, right? And with that, I'm a Pikmin 2 person. Pikmin 3, I think, was a massive disappointment in a regard because it polished and cut so many corners off the, to the Toy Story, the Pikmin vibe, that it became less Pikmin and more just formulaic. But this game, Pikmin 2-2, Pikmin 4, if you will, this was the game I wished Pikmin 3 was. It expanded in every direction. New enemies, new areas, giant size, a great story, 
And then all the, the slight, like the, the quality of life changes. All these new captains and castaways you can collect. All the missions that block normal accolades, like how many Pikmin you have, is a great way to feel like you're progressing instead of having a hundred Pikmin on day two, you know? Every way it all upgrades is fantastic. Did that bulb bulb just like shake its head <laughs> disappointedly? I think it did. Not to mention, obviously, it looks beautiful and great in HD. Yes, there are less sort of efficiency things. You can't throw Pikmin on the eyes quite as such. There isn't rain on a boss fight. But I think Pikmin 3 focused so much on specific details and like programming stuff. Whereas this, this does the best of it. Look, even the glow Pikmin just pop in at night. This is so sweet, man. Can I get this without the credits? Because this is absolutely beautiful. I think for me, before Pikmin 4, it went Pikmin 2, Pikmin 1, Pikmin 3. Pikmin 4 is equal to, if not better, than Pikmin 2. Pikmin 4 better than Pikmin 2. It does Pikmin 2 better. The action is a little bit more balanced. Purples are overpowered. Ice are overpowered. But it's a way of getting through the, the vast difficulty. Glow Pikmin were a fantastic new addition. This is just everything I wanted. Pikmin 4 is the game I always... Uh! Uh! Excuse? Um. Um. Oh! 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 The Pikmin lore is dropping! Oh no! No, never trust Louie when he sits on top of something! I really thought we were gonna get two captains, two dogs by the end of it. I thought it was gonna be we have Olimar playable with Moss. Oh no! There he is! Louie exists! I was wondering if, well, like, uh, he didn't mention him. We still haven't seen Sacho, Alf, Brittany, or Charlie, but that's, that's it. Oh my god. Why is he here? Is he separate? I mean, this is Pikmin 1 logic, so Louie's not supposed to be on the planet. What is going on? An ominous fade to black as we lose consciousness. This game's not even over. This is the best Pikmin game by far. The most collectibles by far. The biggest areas. And the greatest collection of enemies. And we're not even done. There's still more to see. I don't see how you could hate this game. If it's too hard, use Ice Pikmin. If it's too easy, don't use Ice Pikmin. Get good. Through Pikmin 4, you can experience the Gulix. The Smoky Prog. The Water Wraith. All the highlights of the Pikmin franchise are here. Is it a shame that there's a time limit lost? Yes. Maybe there's a way you can add it yourself. But I think this is everything I've ever wanted. <laughs> there could be Louis recipes. Yes, that's what I'm waiting for. That's what I'm missing. There are beats I don't like. Some of the soundtracks naff. And the mixing is too quiet. The Dan Dory battles. The night missions. Some of the levels. The Glutton's Kitchen Cave. And there's no recipe notes. I want multiple notes. We have treasures in Piclopedia. I do want recipes to come back. But we need Olam. We need Louie for that. General producers. Shigeru Miyamoto. And Shinya Takahashi. And Takashi Tezuka. These guys, I think, were all involved in that article that the developers released talking about the development of Pikmin 1, 2, 3, and 4. And, uh, oh. God, I'd wish to be able to sit down and chat with them about it. And... Daz. Oh. Why do I feel like that's the kind of credits I was expecting Pikmin 4 to have if I died 10 years ago? <laughs> Is that weird? I feel like that'd be something that would, like, if I died 10 years ago... The fandom would ask Nintendo to put a reference to me in it. So that feels a little strange. I felt like I wasn't supposed to see that. Ah. Oh. All the old themes are there and everything. Rescues. 34 out of... 35 because of the uh, that one employer and Louie. Mission length 32. Playtime. Oh, sorry. This is slightly wrong. It's just under 23 hours. Two player playtime, zero. 
A thousand born, two hundred dead. Sparklium, twenty-four thousand. For all those things, pretty much every creature you could get in this area. It probably adds up to a thousand if you include the uh, engulfed castle. Raw materials, three thousand. Piclopedia, a hundred and five out of. <laughs> Uh, 237 treasures. Really? There were 201 in Pikmin 2, 30 in Pikmin 3, in Pikmin 1, and then 70? I guess it's slightly above all the past games combined. I like it. Progress, 100, 100, 100, 100. Wow. And room for two more? Three more? Okay. Are we now in the post-game? I think maybe we are. 1,000 total. Only eight wigged. But, you know, we, we try our best. We try our best. Dad's Reviews gets the real credit. Oh! Let's see it. Uh, I feel like it's a bit of a mechanical issue to have a giant hole at the top. But sure. I hope it shuts. Cosmic Drive Key, go! Wait! Suspend the warp now! Something's wrong with Ochi! Oh no, he's, he's possessed! The Pikmin thing! Oh, we can see inside. Hello. He can't... Can he not leave the planet? Because he's possessed. What could this be? Space sickness? No, it would take much more than that to put a rescue pup out of commission. But there must be some explanation. We have to purify him? Ochi's symptoms seem to have stabilized since we stopped the SS Shepherd and paused our flight. Why didn't you show me this internals before? I mean, I guess it's because it's a blurry, it's a blurry JPEG that they're just sort of floating on. Like, this looks like Metopia or something. Um, also, before I get to the point, what was everyone else saying? What if Louis becomes a leafling? Oh, that'd be interesting. Hopefully we play as Louis. I mean, I imagine there's be some mission mode that'll do it. That was the Pikmin theme at the end. Oh, yeah. This is a great game? Yes, it is. Fun fact, there used to be 70 collectibles in Pikmin 3. Oh. Anyway, poor Doggo. Want to make sure I didn't miss anything. We need to head back to that planet right away. Is Oliver here? Oliver, are you about? No, you're not. You're not. Okay, well, I don't know why. Oh, never mind. Oliver, what's going on? I'll explain later, but right now, you need to turn this ship around and return to the planet. Quickly. They're all infected by Parasiticus Pikminicus. Bold men are involved. Just leave Ochi behind. And me. I'm fine with that. Oh. <laughs> I love when Pikmin ends and then it doesn't end. Ah. Uh. It's so nice I'm experiencing this for the first time. Like, it's just like, I won't get to experience this again for the first time. I'm at the good point in the days. I don't know what happens after this point, so we'll see. Because this part, you know, you could sort of expect up to. I don't know what to expect from here. Well, I did have a couple predictions, but I won't tell them until we get to the end. We'll take that explanation now, Captain Olimar. Just look. He's got a leafy tail. And he's fine on the planet. Oh, she's feeling better. I think that leaf may be the cause of his troubles. Before the rescue corps received my call for help, I did attempt an escape from this planet on my own. Did Moss... Did Moss destroy it? But unbeknownst to me, Moss had snuck into my ship's cargo hold. She started exhibiting symptoms much like Ochi's. I rushed back to this planet, and that's when I shipwrecked yet again. <gasps> It's all Moss's fault, accidentally. He succeeded in Pikmin 1. He got all of his 30 ship parts and then just crashed again from bad luck. Oh, no. Tragic. Why isn't it Bulby? Why is it not Bulby? Why is it Moss? You can canonically bring your dog, family dog snuck in. I don't know why, but organisms growing these leaves are seemingly unable to leave this planet. No. That can't be! Oh, I'm kind of disappointed it's not Bulby now. 
If it's just a dog that got in the cargo hold, it could have been his family dog that rushed in. You know? I mean, it had slightly different eyes, but I'd be fine with that retcon. If it redesigned, it's fine. It was just a JPEG we saw of Bulby before anyway. Uh, Yoni, can we use the medicine you created to cure Ochi? Actually, while making the cure for Onima, I had a hunch and tested it on Ochi too. Sadly, it had no effect. Damn. So, what do we do now? Uh, rescue Ochi and work together. We work together. That's right. If we put all of our heads together, we're sure to find a way to cure Ochi. Listen up, everyone. During our attempted escape from this planet, we received a message from headquarters dated a while back. Also, very lucky that our ship didn't just shipwreck again, if that was the logic of Olimar. But, you know, yeah, fine. We must have been out of range while within that planet's atmosphere. So, what did it say? It's a request to rescue all castaways currently stranded on this planet. They provided a list. Here, take a look. <laughs> There's 35. We have 34. Or is there 70? 50? 50. <gasps> this is a long list. <laughs> huh? I know this Kaipiot. Kaipiot? Nelly. Well, I know of her. She's famous in academic circles and is a preemptive veterinarian. Perhaps she could help us cure Ochi. Nelly isn't the only co-pilot on this list. Did she come with companions like Don Berger? Don Bergman? Don Bergman. Oh, of course. Oh, that's interesting. There's loads of co suddenly. Okay. Pikmin 3 is relevant. Finally, they didn't delete it. Makes sense. She probably wouldn't have come here alone. Yorkie? Nice. But I don't remember encountering any co when I was a leafling. If I had to guess, I'd say they must have crashed in an area that neither the Rescue Corps nor I have explored. Oh, then we'll have to find a way to extend our radar's reach and expand our search radius. Sounds like we're going to need more Sparklium. Officers, let's get to work. Copy that. Russ, do you think it's possible to boost our radar even more? Kee-hee! Oh, Colin, never underestimate the power of science and forethought. I've already implemented a direct connection between the radar and our power source to give it some extra oomph. Excellent work, Russ, and impressively fast, to say the least. It's almost like you already did this by 100% in the earlier places. Crazy. I can't say I understand most of what you said, but it sounds like we should go ahead and switch on the radar. Oh my god, will we see Alf? I hope they don't spoil it in the menu, but I might have a look. Or, no, you know what? I'm gonna ignore it. I'm gonna ignore it. I'm gonna wait for them to pop up randomly. Now then, let's begin our search. I can see two new areas, because you have too much sparklium. Hmm. We got something! Multiple SOS signals have been detected in an unexplored area. Some of these signals have to belong to Nelly and the other co -pirates. Let's get this rescue off the ground. Ochi's counting on us. Their names are similar to Alf, Brittany, and Charlie. Nelly, Brittany, and whoever the other ones were. This Nelly, I don't know about that, is a renowned veterinarian. She should have some ideas for what to do about Ochi's tail. Focus search efforts in this newly discovered area. Lovely. It's taken us just over the length of all of Pikmin 1. To get this far. Boom, boom, boom. There's something I'd like to chat about. Hello, Olimar. Stop by later, okay? So, Dalmo. I'm 100%ing things. Uh huh. You think you've got this under control? Is that right? No one can pull a fast one on me. Hmm. Thank you. Copy Pog. <laughs> Copy Pog. I see. Well, you're not done yet, newbie. Keep at it and finish the job. I will do. Uh, we do say Area 5, don't we? Yeah, we do. Cool. We're basically there. If you know, you know. There he is. Ah, oh, the shipwreck tail. We could just do that now, huh? Ah, there you are. Just so you know, if you'd ever like to hear more about my shipwreck experience, I'd be happy to share. Oh yes, there's something I wanted to tell you. 
Given Ochi's strength, I believe he's a prime candidate to learn Moss's special technique. I named it the Swallow. Would you like me to teach you this skill? <gasps> so, here's how you use Swallow. Simply direct your pup to run towards whatever it is you want him to carry, then he swallows it whole to carry it. It's quite simple, but don't worry. If the Pikmin are already transporting something, he won't swallow it. Is it faster? No. Is that a benefit? Please, give it some a try sometime. Alright, well, that's it for now. Well, I guess I got it. Okay. Let's not do these missions yet. When I was a leafling, I saw something that still nags at me. Perhaps if I search my memories, I could piece it together. Uh... Let's chat. I'm not sure why, but organisms that have sprouted leaves cannot leave this planet. At least, that's what I've observed. Moss already had a leaf on her tail when we first met. Did you meet on the planet? Like it's just a random dog that got in? She may have been that way since birth, like the Pikmin. Moss is... No. Moss doesn't live here. They just were in the cargo hold. Moss was on the Pikmin planet, snuck in while leaving. Is that what's going on? How did you become a leafling, anyway? Did Moss do that to you? What's going on here? I know you're busy. Do you want to keep talking? Yeah. Oh. I never imagined that a meteorite would hit the ship. It's a miracle that I'm alive at all. I want to thank you again for everything. Seriously, thank you. If you think I can be of any help, please don't be shy. Tell me the tale. So, there I was. Ah uh ha ha! Zero out of 30 parts. We'll come back to that. But that's so cool. Until next time. Okay. Guess I'm on the same pace as Daz. I guess you are, Nintendo Switch. Welcome to Area 5. Well, this is still the home, the homeland. But, you know, basically Area 5. What does look this way mean? Oh, interesting. That's cool. Maybe they can save Moss too? I imagine that's where we're going, yeah. Oh, it's you again. Uh, this is fascinating. I was able to confirm the onion has fused. Yeah. I wonder if he was inspired by Louis. Poor Olimar yeah, looking at his ship. Yeah, he is. Please keep collecting different colours of onions. I've got a lot more research to do. It looks like swallowing could protect these treasures from enemies. I guess it'd be good against the, the dweevils. That's helpful. Pikmin 1 in Pikmin 4. Basically, yeah, they, they are just rebooting it. But I mean, hey, if you want to experience everything, it's all on the Switch now. Did Daz finish the night areas in, night in Area 4? I don't think I did, no. But I don't think we're ready for it yet. So we'll come back to that in the future. I just love how science and technology make the impossible possible. Right, what do we got? We got the sniff saver. Yeah, that's all good and normal. Gunk busters, brace boots, uh, air armor is nice. Power whistle, uh, the range, yeah. Okay, only really air armor interests me, to be honest. Emergency kit, which uh, automatically heals you, which would be nice to have. Just two. I don't want to go too overboard here. Uh, do we have any bomb rocks? We have loads of bomb rocks. Maybe we're going to start actually using these. I don't know, man. I don't need this, mostly. You know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. Now Ochi will only take half damage, and now it can absorb 75 of damage. Wow, that's 75%. I see. Um... No. Ochi needs more health than I do. So that'll be fine as it is. Okay. 25 hour mark. Uh, streaming here we've done for five and a half hours this morning. It's not morning anymore. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. Jesus Christ. That's gone quick. <sighs> let's find Nelly. Uh, no, let's not. I want to see the list of uh, people. Can I see that somewhere? Where do I find a list of people? Here we go. ID badges, I guess? Yeah, this is it. So there's... I'm not going to read the middle ones. But there's a, a lot of them. I don't want to know where that last guy is. 
I can I I don't I'm too scared to discover it. How many is that? These are also just like collectibles as well. People! So many stuff to grab! Oh! The rescue journal. You're not gonna tell me anything helpful, are you? We've seen these, haven't we? Kind of. Also, here's a thought. I wonder if this is actually a reference to character D. Obviously, it's just a random dude, but like, character D got deleted. There he is. It's the grandfather, you know, or great 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 grandfather of, of Shepard. I don't know. It's possible. History and stats. Oh, that's cool. And then this. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Have we skipped any? That's all I wish to know. Kind of doesn't look it. So maybe, a, maybe a couple random beats. Okay, cool. Right, I've had enough. On to Area 5 proper. The Pikmin 1 2023 remake is real. It is. Don't need anything else. Where's this taking us? Way down south. To the marshlands. Ooh, another river. Another twilight river. Giant's Hearth. For now, we need to focus our search efforts on finding the veterinarian. Nelly! It would be nice if she were in this area, but... Eight rescues, 55 treasures. Who knows on the onions? Alright. 25 hours of streaming the game. Damn, this game is long. It is basically how long it's been since the game came out, really. Uh, it's two hours early. Like, it's 27 hours the game's been out. From midnight. But we started later than midnight. But then, we, yeah, we started 12 hours late. And then we had six hours already under our belt. So, 19 hours ago. Eh, off. God, I can't tell where I'm at. <laughs> it's 31. 31 hours since it came out. I don't know, man. Something like that. Oh, bull bears on the surface. I love that for me. Oh, it's like a k. It's like a, a camp. The guitar going, kind of forest navally, in music. It really is like sort of the post game of Pikmin Two, yeah. Oh. Oh! Well, there's so many beats here. Hello, Louie. Hello, not even a leafling yet. And hello, Pikmin 3 theme. Huh? Is that really... And what's he doing with Moss? How do you know him, Olimar? Oh my god, he's real. <laughs> Obviously, he exists. Do you know that guy? I don't recognize him from the list of castaways. What do you mean? It says Louie first. It's Louie. He's a co-worker of mine at Hockertate Freight. Is he trying to rescue that castaway? Oh, could that castaway be... Look at those round ears. It's a co-pilot. Oh, I love that they reference the ears have a certain look. What you doing, Louie? Why are you like this, Louie? What are you doing? Hold on. He's disappeared. Ah. What's he doing run away with Moss anyway? Perhaps your employer sent him here to help you, Olimar. Oh, the lore is going ham on this alternate timeline. Pikmin 1, logic, he goes in, he survives, but he crashes. But while he's on this planet, he experiences the Pikmin 2 experience. Meanwhile, Sacho, because Olimar never came back at all, sends Louis himself over, who then crashes the Hockertate ship might exist. Oh my god, the, the, everyone is here. And then he just survives out in the wild without the damn ship. Moss is just here. Okay, right. Perhaps you're... Yeah, that happened. This is crazy. This is amazing. What a fantastic Pikmin moment. Perhaps, though Louie wouldn't have been my top choice. <laughs> Uh, let's follow Louie. We don't want anything to happen to that possibly copiat castaway. Luckily, Ochi is already familiar with Moss's scent. What are you waiting for? Ochi, Daz, track Moss's scent. I really wish Olimar could join us as a third captain. That would have been luscious. Okay, search for Nelly. 
There is so many beats to see here as well. Okay, so we've got burning fire, because it's a campfire. All right, we've got a bull bear right up front, first hurdle. I love that. I wonder if it's going to change halfway through. Two bull bears! Ah, okay. A spider enemy. Okay, this is Twilight River and um, the area in Pikmin 2. That's ominous. We'll just keep going that way. Mushrooms cave. Can I just jump on that? I don't think I... Oh, I can climb it. That's where he'll be. Can open that bridge. And then there's just so much more. Is this a teleport area? No, okay. I thought it was going to, like, make us load. Okay. This is a lot to process. Oh my god, that is massive. Ah, okay. The lore is cooking right now. He's going to cook it. Oh no, he's not going to cook a person, is he? Okay. How am I going to make this happen? How am I going to make this happen? First things first, let's just do our best and fight a damn bull bear. Okay, phew. That's a uh, step one, I guess. Rocks, who do you think needs it best? We'll put you on that task. No, we won't. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Run, 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 run. Charge. Okay, that wasn't too bad. All things considered, not too bad. Right, they're collecting the materials. Uh, Ochi, can you work on that? While 12 of you work on that. I want Rock Pikmin building this material. Uh, what else? You have you there. Why do I feel like I'm in the deep south? Listen to that music. Like, I feel like I'm at, like, some, like, bus stop in the middle of the desert. Not quite the vibe I was expecting for Pikmin. But golly, does it sound like it, uh, it's giving a certain different vibe to usual. Oh, you can hide from the bull bear. Good stuff. Did you stop? Get to work on it, buddy. What's wrong with you? Right, we're going to run on ahead with our 23 Pikmin. This is giving Wistful Wild vibes of danger. Yes, that's exactly what it is. I think I agree. Like, I'm a little suspicious where it's going to go. Is there a Gatling Groink here? Like, is that what I've got to worry about? What do we got around these places? We've got a fiery bowl black, so that's fun. Got another one of these guys. Rock Pikmin are beautiful for that. More fiery bowl blacks is everywhere, man. Lovely. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave that fiery bowl blacks alone. Does this link to where we were? Not at all. But we can run. Oh, it kind of does if we go this way. We run all the way through it. Okay, interesting. I feel like I need to keep my blues for the bull bears eventually. When we get to that point. But everybody else is free to work with this. As long as they go to the right. Go right, go right, go right, go right, go right. Good, they do. Okay. I'm not allowed to go that way? Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Uh, go to where Captain Daz is. They brought that enemy back to attack the winged. I can see that. I, I can see that vibe, definitely. Thankfully, I'm not using winged right now. Bloom a bunch of flowers. You're welcome. Lovely. Let's finish this pathing. Now, Ochi, you... I was going to use you so I could hop up here. But it turns out I'm already here. So, um... Maybe not what we need. 
Can you open that for us? Lovely. Okay. That's this cave sorted for the future. If we ever wanted to. Is this where he is? Who knows? What is this place? The dream home. I see a lot of... Oh, it's Louis! It's Louis speaking. How does Louis speak? He's just low as well, isn't he? Oh, it's low. <clears throat> I see a lot of places to mess around down here. Wouldn't be a bad place to live. I hide all, I hid all my snacks in a box, but forgot the code I need to open it. Well, how are we supposed to work that out then? Is it in the, I hope the answer's in the cave. Right. Um, Ochi, whoops. I need you to go back to base. We'll get those last three Pikmin on there in a bit. Lovely. Um, in the meantime, let's flower up some more. Forest Naval had this kind of vibe, but we were underground for it. Yeah, it's a mixture, isn't it? It's like Forest na uh, Forest Naval and like the uh, Wistful Wilds and stuff like that. I see the connections everywhere. For sure. I wish I was better at this, man. <laughs> there we go. How many coloured onions do I have? I have four. I have a four-leaf onion right now. Dream Den? That wasn't the Dream Den, was it? It's a dream house. You're right. Oh, God. This is totally just the Wistful Wilds. Back when I used to call it the Wistful Wind. Or something like that. Consistently. What? There's still 17 left? Why haven't you done it? Why do they keep stopping? What's going on here? Am I done yet? They're just taking their sweet time for it. Right, well, after this whole escapade, we're then going to go down this way, right? Whether we've got a... Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, I love that. Just like garden cementing items. Sweet. Where's the cave he went into? That's a random Dandori guy. Well, we can do two. We can do those two, I guess, today, can't we? Yeah. And a boss. Who would bury something like that? And you went the other way anyway. Are you kidding me? I opened this bridge for you. Ah, oh, you absolute numpties. I only have nine Pikmin to fight this guy with. Well, I just won't use the, the blues, even though I should. I kind of wish player two will be played as Ochi. That would be sweet. Ah, well. Missed opportunities. I don't think they've ever... Have they ever perfected co-op? Oh, no, they did. Pikmin three perfected co-op. Oh, well. Hello, Cromad. I knew it would be you. Classic Pikmin 3. Oh, man. Are you too watery over there? You might be. Hello, hello, hello. Give me your eyeballs. Give me your other eyeballs. And then I will only use the blues on your top end, then, if that's really how you're struggling. Uh, never mind. It looks like you're fine. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello! And... I do see that soft belly. Isn't it lovely? Great. Okay. We need the, the, the rocks to go on it first. You can't touch it at all? Why do you go round the backside? That's not convenient at all. Okay, fine. Uh, we'll have you go all the way back to base to collect more blues. Um, Ochi, what are you doing? You're gonna do the same, I guess. Rocks to the eyes, ouch. To be fair, yeah, the way Pikmin fight, pretty brutal when you think about it logically. Like, it's actually really harsh what we do to these just creatures existing, you know? They're just trying to get by in the world. Okay, um, where's the valve? Whoa. 
Because that's kind of what we need, isn't it? I'm going to send you out on that now. Right, we're doing a blue mission. Can we get underneath that? I feel like we can't even walk under it. That might be a blockade for us. I thought I saw a valve. No? Oh, here it is. This is the valve. I think it's a valve. Well, I might instantly lose all my blues. Let's find out. Oh, I'll lose myself. Oh, okay. Just fight it on the back end, then. Not allowed. Not allowed. Damn. I think I have to come back to this later. Man, I don't know. I don't know about it. You can use a bomb. I can use a bomb. Is that the uh, intended way forwards? I don't think it is, but I'll make it happen. I'm sorry, little one. That did nothing. Is it too high up now? Why are you so high, like, low down? Oh, there we go. <laughs> wow, it proper panics. It knows what's going on and everything. That's horrifying. Okay, right. Um, we only have so much time to do all these other last minute caves. But I think we can make something like it work. Um, so let's have Ochi by that other cave. Or do I put him on this? I might put him here, to be honest. Can you use Ochi to sniff out Louie? I probably could, to be honest. But I want to get a little bit more done first. I want to shut this gate. I want to shut that bridge while this is coming around, and then we'll do the Dandori fight, and then we'll dive in a cave real quick, if we're lucky. Oh, it's more... Oh no, I think where I want to be. Yes, I wanted to go not quite left here. Oh, it's a K. It's a base here. Interesting. Lovely. Open this bridge. And now we've got a way around here. Lovely. How are the materials getting on? They're nearby. Give them a moment and they'll make it happen. Although maybe it's not needed. I still don't fully understand what's going on here. Four left. One, two, three, four. Sure, 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 sure. I wonder how different the game was when they said Pikmin 4 was close to completion all those years ago. That's a good question. That would be the question I'd love to ask Miyamoto if I ever got around to it. These thieflings, they really are all over the place, huh? Today, we dandori. Tomorrow, we dandori more. He's literally me. He's me. Alright, newbie. Tie the show of your dandori skills to that leafling. This is how I live my life. Aerial incinerator. It's Nintendo saying they were almost done for five years. Is uh is worth it probably. It's probably worth it. This is uh stress level four that we're going for now. Oh, 
No need for introductions. I see who you are. Okay then, gang. Let's get to it. Come on then, Puffy... Puffy Blue Hog? We got this. I trusted myself. And I hope you trusted me too. Hiya! Oh, yeah, you are. You're getting higher. Come on then, you almost stopped me, but it won't last long. Music goes hard. Classical music, could have thought it fits with Pikmin sometimes. Well, we'll keep it going. It's apparently looping again. Alright then, sure, we'll take it. Where did I see those before? There they are. I knew they existed. More of them.
This Kaiser reminds me of the K for Pikmin 2 with the man at legs. Don't say that. That's not what I need to be reminded of right now. Oh, you don't think they'll bring that into this game, do you? I think I missed by two nuggets, even though it counted all of those nuggets. Oh, it's going again. But two more for platinum? Where did I miss it? It even said nuggets entirely collected. Two nuggets missing? You're lying. It said nuggets fully collected. Ugh. That's a song called Vivaldi. Classical music. <sighs> well, that was a great piece of fun, I will admit. <laughs> so incredible, I feel dizzy. Then 30 pieces of raw material is your reward. You did it! Come on, let's get the castaway out of here, Daz! Puffy Blowhog, that was what it's called. I always forget that damn thing. Wow, that was great. Man, I do like the Dandori challenges. Ch Dandori battles are okay, but Dandori challenges? The mission mode. I'm glad they found a way to incorporate it well. No. With all the leaf, let's rescue him. Let's close the lid. Right, I'm going to go with 199 reds now. Think oh my god, Ochi swallowed him! Okay, horrifying, but I guess that's life. Meanwhile, we're gonna try and fight that M uh, fiery bowl black so we get this new base, move it, and then we'll access that final cave. Is everybody here? Is all our company here? Fantastic. Off you go! Oh great, look at that. That sure makes things easier now, doesn't it? Ochi does run when he swallowed something. That's so good. That's so fast. Okay, he's kind of slow, but it's faster, isn't it? The winged Pikmin just got there and almost got sucked up to the ship. It totally finished. It totally finished. And... <laughs> Lovely. Totally slobbery. The slobberiest leafling we've ever seen. You can already know what it smells like. You know what wet leaves smell like. And you know what wet dog smells like. Just a whole concoction of blech. No good. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> the dream home. How many sub-levels? Five from the looks of that layout. One rescue, 14 treasures. It's Louie doing something funky. A lot of yellows, not a lot of winged. Well then give me 80 so I can get more of them. It's candy pop buds. I messed up. Ah, well. Oh, it might be wild, Pikmin. How do you feel about this area aesthetically? It's not bad. 
I'm usually not a fan of campsites, but like it's kind of like nice. It's nice. It's different. It's the Wistful Wilds. It's autumn. It's very Pikmin, actually, when you think about it. It's it's Wistful Wilds in a new HD. It's in, you know, the 2020s. Proper decade. So I like it. Oh. Oh. You know what happens in the Dream Den last time we were doing Dream Den stuff? Ah, there must be a castaway already. This is where we are going to find our, our, uh, Sparta moment, if you know what I'm saying. If there was ever a place for it, this is it. So, uh, let's see how things turn out, eh? I think we might have a lot of bulb orbs here. I like that they just antagonized an egg. Pikmin managed to do that. Incredible work. Right, Ochi keep working on that. Music's nice and chill, but you know what? Maybe we need a bit of chill after all that running around. Bada bing, bada bing. Okay, there we are. New candy pop buds. Ah, oh, you. I love you when you're here. Just whack him. Whack him a million times over. Thank you. I really didn't want to lose all my last wings. I have admittedly lost quite a lot over the years. I'm glad there's no more now. Bulbulbs are awake in caves. That's horrifying. But I think that's how that works. Right, I'm gonna have Ochi come back for that and then do some things. I can't get up there yet. How am I meant to make this work? It's always awake. Okay, we're protected right now. Ah, yeah, right. Ooh, yes. Okay, I need to pay attention to the symbols. I didn't. But I assume they're behind me right now. Whatever that card was, I'll keep it in mind. No, we don't know yet. Okay. Okay, interesting. Nice one, me. What, is this just an early parthing? Yeah, just some easier parthing. Okay. I think I might need everybody at this point, honestly. Ooh. Thank you. Right, let's try our best, gang. Oh, it's turning right at us. Um, mistakes were made. Goodbye. I'll come back to it later. God, I'm bad at this now. Whack it! Whack it! Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a this is a brutal crime. Jesus, that was Why was that so difficult? I did all that prep work and I still lost like six. Damn man. Oh, you're going. You're good. You need twenty. Are you a giant bulbulb? You do look pretty massive. Why do you weigh twenty? What's happened here? Where am I? Am I in hell? Jumbos are always awake, I think. What is a jumbo? <laughs> you should probably upgrade Ochi when you get back to base. Am I missing on stuff? I thought I was overpowered already. Oh, great. What a lovely benefit. Being here. Never would have been able to get here otherwise. Totally. <laughs> Alrighty. What else have we got going on? What good is that going to do me? I can throw Pikmin there, but I can't go there myself. Oh, I can go under here. What am I thinking? Oh, bye, Ochi.
Bam! Whack him! Bite him! Take him down! Lovely stuff. Okay, so we got that going on here. Um, Daz, can you just send it to everybody? No, you can't go up here. That's a cool limitation. I like that. They don't want the purples up on the higher level. Sweet. But I can get up if I climb. That makes sense. I mean, I guess. You can't reach this, can you? I've got the wrong Pikmin here. Um, hey, can I get like the yellows over, please? Okay, they wait there. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to my winged, actually. Ooh, wow, what an animation. Okay, cool, right. Ochi, we need you now. And voila. It's not the strongest in the world, but it's vaguely functionable. Hey, Pikmin looking ass Bulborb. <laughs> I see it. Right, what is this then, eh? What are you? A joker? Oh, that's not helpful at all. Oh, Louie, you really are knowing how to play with me, huh? Okay, right, what else we got? Loads of mushrooms. <laughs> Pick the right mushroom, is that what they're telling us to do? And it's that one. That's the one we need to go to, huh? Only eggs down here, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> what about... Whoops! A crash! What about a lag? What's this puzzle then, huh? Have you found my cube yet? Ah, the four of spades. Lovely. One of my favorites. It's not. Four of spades is nobody's favorite. Do people have favorite cards? Is that a thing? I don't think people do. Oh man, there's loads of cards here. You just really have to hunt for it all, don't you? Is that a jumbo elephant anteater thing? I think it is. Okay, great. Just what I needed. Hi there, don't mind me. Just flying past real quick. Why are you so huge? You have a massive range. The Ace of Hearts, lovely. Oh, and you can't even hit them. Beautiful. Bye bye bye. I like him. I love him a lot. I only have purples. Oh, I have a few yellows. Actually, maybe we can do this. Right, now you need it twice, huh? There you go, knocked it off balance. It's no use, the scales are too tough. You got this, just one last try. Is my rush too slow? I just about have enough time to do this, okay. Do I even have a rush boost? I might not. Oh, maybe I have to hit it from the side. No, it's not that. You're one charge away, good luck. Bam! Alright, get biting, Ochi. Whack him. Get him in there. Good boy. That is a big boy right there, you're right. And let's see, you got anything else for you? Or is it usual moves? Show us something new. You're low on HP. Ooh. Ooh. You tried to get us off with that timing there, didn't you? And you almost made it, too. Beautiful. Yes, sirree! This is your chance! Lovely. But we still haven't found that last card. I 
wonder, do I actually have to collect the card to put it in? I wonder if they'll be like, oh no, just just exist, just know it. Will speedrunners just be able to plug it in whenever? I wouldn't be surprised if it somehow works like that. Gandori is so intense. It is. It's great. It's a great way to make Pikmin chill and crazy at the same time. Time limits. Don Bergman. There he is from Kopai. An ex-ranger who followed rumors of treasure to this planet. He'll use the profits to help the starving back in his homeland. We have a f uh, philanthropist and we did it for our president, Sacho. Oh, God. Azar! It is a copied castaway. Let's hope he has information regarding Nelly's whereabouts. Are Pikmin good? Uh, kind of. Yeah, they're pretty strong still. Not as crazy as before, I think, though. You found a copied. It isn't Nelly, but I hope he can at least help us find her. Let's see what we can learn after he wakes up. Sweet. Ah, okay. I think I might have just found the card on the map. <laughs> also, is it sunset here because I'm taking so long? Is it actually connected to like what time of day it is everywhere else? Yeah, pretty strong, as you can see by that. Oh, that was only three? That is light. I guess it is light, isn't it? But that, that really pushes the boundary of what counts as light, huh? Oh, this is just the way up that he's found. Didn't even know it was an option before. How does this connect? Oh, yes, to how he gets up top. That's fine. Oh! Hello. I sound like Paper Mario, but it's still a fidget spinner. Is that true? <laughs> I've got a fidget spinner treasure. If I want to collect every treasure in this damn game, IRL, I have to get a fidget spinner. All right. Such is my life. The things I do for video games. I mean, hey, maybe it would help with my dandori need for twitching my fingers all the time and, you know, using something. I don't know. Okay, Pikmin don't follow here? That's very inconvenient. You've got two numbers, you can probably guess the last one. I could do. But where's the fun in that? Although I would kind of, I might get, I might put it in before we get the card. We'll get the card anyway, I guess. But first, let me get the proper winged Pikmin. Will it let me? Let's see here. One, one, two, three, four. Haha! <laughs> well, would you look at that? Uh, Ochi, don't get crushed! There's his dream cake. Oops. It's loading something. Something's gone fucking- It's not the game, by the way, it's my entire computer. That was a heavy one! Yikes! Yikes! Why? It's 404. Uh, 406. Is that what it's upset about? Like, what are your issues, man? Come on. What is this? I thought I lost all my Pikmin there. What's going on? There it is. Show me the seven of diamonds. Is this your card? It certainly is now. Okay, I need a moment to pause. It is so heavy. Nothing's even like... I've not got notifications or anything. Is it my foot sleeping over? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, so I can get those guys. How do I get there? Oh, I drop down from there. Alright, I'll come back to it in a second. See, I wish I could have done this during all the enemies. It always feels like I have to do a treasure hunt afterwards. The level design, to me, isn't perfect, I feel like. That's what could be improved as well, thinking about it. But it's still pretty damn good. These purples would have been helpful in this level, you know? <laughs> Maybe I just need to focus on the enemies last to make it feel better. Maybe. 
Another lag, huh? Okay, we got the flawlick. We'll bring it to the onion on the surface. Great. Now, what's the trap here? Why have you given me this? Okay, well that's the whole section done. Again, where's the exit? Because I thought we were chasing Louie in here and he's like left a treasure. Oh, no, that's not it. It's just a random patch of blue. I feel like I did all that running around and I haven't found an exit this whole time. Because it's just the one. Ah! The dream home is not a dream den at all. It's a one floor puzzle level. That's interesting. <sighs> I hope this fidget spinner is called the merry-go-round. You know what? Yeah, what is a funny name for a fidget spinner? I think I just saw fidget spinner. <laughs> the spinner of fidgets. What was that? Space spinner. Pretty naff. Should have been like distraction, uh, like pauser. What's a better word for pause? Distractor, dis distraction, distraction or something. I don't know. Distraction, distractor. That'd be interesting. A distraction, distractor. Keeps you focused. Totally. YouTube is not receiving enough sm video to maintain smooth streaming. Right. Why are you like this? As such, viewers will experience buffer. Is my stream quality still poor? It kind of is. My my computer's, I think, just frying slightly. The distractions of distractions. You know what? Maybe we should host a competition to find the best, uh, like, better names for these treasures. That'd be interesting. Like a, a mini, like, ranking of, like, here's all these alternative names. Because I like distraction of distractions or something like that, you know? Wait, what just happened? The number of Pikmin we can take out didn't go up at all, but we got a Flarlick. Oh. Oh, that's a shame. Huh? Nectar from the onion? Is that how that works? What does this mean for the anatomy of Pikmin? It must not release more than a hundred Pikmin on the surface at any given time. So then why did you give me more Flarlicks than nine? Or eight? All right, now we're at sunset time. No more caves. Um, I really wish I could do two caves in one day and a Diane Dory, but I don't think it's ever lined up that way. <laughs> Fry some eggs on your computer. Yeah, I'll give that a consider, sure. See, it's fine with 24 hours, but the moment you get to 25, ach, it starts giving up on you, apparently. I'm finding the limitations on my PC, it seems. I thought my thing glitched then. I think it was just the cut. What about a quiz show where each person has to suggest a name for a treasure and then all of the names are put on a board and you have to pick the correct one from the list? Bam! Got a whole round for my game show set up right there and then. Perfect. The distracted director or attention director? I could see that too, yeah. Or even like something like the wheel of focus could have been interesting, you know? Oh. <sighs> Lovely. Extravagant breakfast series. Why do they know these things? But sure, yeah, totally. 
I love to just see pictures for different uh, treasure ideas as well. The complete obsession series. Nuggets count towards that? Okay. The jiggle jiggle. I like it. Oops. Oh, and it skipped the last bit, but that's fine. Uh, all sorts of nuggets. Is that all the nuggets in the world now? I hope so. The Jiggle Jiggle, Captivating Goo, Money Emblem, Divine Balloon, Space Spinner, Blast Shield, Love Emblem, Work Emblem, Devil's Portrait, I like it, Condensed Sunshine, Fastening Item, Leisure Car, Deity's Portrait, The Seed Hive, Anxious Sprout, and The Stately Rubber Cutie. Update Ochi? Alright. How's that co pilot looking? The one we just rescued. We deactivated the forced sleep mode on his spacesuit. The doctor's with him now. Uh, but before we get to that moment, I am afraid to say... I'm not going away, but I am going for a pee break. Because, uh, surprise, surprise, I've drank a lot. I'll be with you in a little bit. But in the meantime, here is another advert. I'll see you in a mo. Uh, enjoy! All right, hello everybody. It's time for the final pee break and that I'll be giving this night. Um, I have no idea how far into the stream we are. I heard this game's gonna be 40 hours long to some people and we're um, starting at six hours in. But this is very late to be telling you that because you, I don't know how far into the stream we are at this point. How often do I need a pee break? Do we need to start repeating these? I have no idea. Anyway, I have one more thing I would like to plug you about. Uh, that's a strange phrasing for the end of this night, uh, and that is suggestions. Now, I've already mentioned that we have a Discord and you can give us stream suggestions, uh, but on top of the fact that I would love to just use so much Pikmin ideas in one place September onwards, I really love it when streamers expand the games they're playing, but stay within their lane, you know? Like there's a streamer I know of called Crystal. I have no idea how you pronounce it, but they focus on Japanese RPGs. They they came, they grew through Persona games and then stuck to Shin Megami Tensei and that kind of thing. I can think of a million examples any other day, but right now I've forgotten them all. I love when a streamer stays in their lane, right? My question is, what's the lane for Pikmin, right? Obviously, Nintendo just created a new name for a genre based off of an old Japanese name that already exists, Dandori, right? Dandori is what Pikmin is. Pikmin is a Dandori genre of a game. What are other Dandori games? What are they? What would you call that? Because I love playing the control AI and organize yourself. It's kind of a collect-a-thon. It's kind of a real-time strategy. But it's not, you know? I can't just play Banjo-Kazooie after this and it, and it fits right in. In the other sense though, this new Pikmin 4 has a chibi robo vibe, right? Sometimes it's not just that it's a Dandori game, it's a you are shrunk and the world is huge game. Maybe chibi robo is within the lane of Pikmin. A lot of people who liked my old stuff loved chibi robo content as well as Pikmin. I wouldn't be surprised if after this I make some chibi robo content. It could work out. What else would fall under that category? Katamari? Yeah, I could see myself playing Katamari. I have a list somewhere. I need help fleshing it out a bit, you know? What else do you think would be inside the line or the lane of Pikmin content going forwards? Where's my Dandori list? Like, there are some Pikmin clones that exist. Hotel Transylvania is a Nintendo Switch game that is clearly just a Pikmin clone. There are others that exist, indie games, that are clearly Pikmin inspired, where you have a crowd of people following you. There's a there's one where you play as a tiny person. It kind of looks like Paper Mario. What is it called? I have forgotten the name of it, and for the life of me, through all of my spreadsheet, I cannot find my damn Dandori collective notes. Nope, it's vanished. <laughs> Helpful, very helpful. Um, I would love to hear suggestions and reasonings why I should be playing this next game and how it's still in the lane of Pikmin. I found it, that game was called Tinykin. You run around in Paper Mario thin characters in a giant room with these clones following you. So on top of the Pikmin clone and the You're Small and Dandori, which I have no idea what that else could be, but you never know. Uh, other things I've heard is Unravel 2, where you are a small person doing puzzles. 
co-op. It's a bit different, but it might be the same kind of vibes. Uh, and then a bunch of indie games. So I've got things like The Wilder Heart, which has Pikmin-like mechanics. Uh, Stonefly, which has a Pikmin-like world that it's a big fantasy realm that you can sort of sink your teeth into. Masters of Anima, which is another Pikmin clone. And Overlord Fellowship of Evil, where you play very much a Pikmin clone game, but you're playing with the bad guys. Interesting. I would love to expand my lane as well. Maybe not in September, maybe October, who knows. I'd love to sort of find that that breadth of stuff I can do, you know? Or I'll just become a general speedrunner as I do Pikmin more and more and more speedrunning forms. I will be speedrunning Pikmin 1, 2, and 3 as I learn how to do it after August. Um, but then also, yeah, maybe I'll just switch over to Tears of the Kingdom and become a Nintendo speedrunner and still do Pikmin. I don't know. You know, I was originally planning to do Tears of the Kingdom speedruns all the time because I knew that game would still be played two years later. I can completely get back into it. It's interesting, isn't it? I'll probably mention this in an in a Under the Stars sequence, um, but it's interesting that I always approached streaming as a variety streamer. Doesn't work. Having a game to stick to and making it work works really well. Rather than just playing through it once solo, replay it a million times speedrun solves my issues. Maybe? I don't know. How, am I peaking right now? Will I never have more views after this buying playthrough? I have no idea. I'll give it a good. I've been, I've, I've, I've done years of floundering as a streamer. I've learned a few things along the way. Never learned how to stop sweating though. This is, this is just the preamble. I've only been recording for, what's that? T 22 minutes? Yikes. Um, but anyway, yes, if you have any suggestions for what kind of games would be fitting within the Pikmin realm, or hey, if you just want me to speedrun Super Mario Odyssey, let me know, and I'll hear it. Uh, either in the chat on, on YouTube right now that I'm going to see when I come back, if I'm not already watching this in the background, or in the comments of this VOD or this edited video in whatever form it takes, or most successfully on our Discord. Go check out our stream suggestions tag, put it there, give us a suggestion why, bam, bring it all together. Um, there you are. Anyway, that was my little uh, side thought before I forget. There's a lot of topics I want to talk about this 40 hour stream, but I just, uh, I don't know if it's a, I don't know if I'll remember it, you know? I stutter enough the moment I'm recording live for some reason, so who knows if I've remembered all the beats I'm supposed to hit. Oh well. As long as you see the, uh, the modernized version of This Is Sparta, spoilers, I'll be happy. Have you had that yet? If not, you're in for a treat. Anyway, I'll be vanishing now.